Hello. Um, I, I just, I'm just a fan of memes, and I live in Australia. I do lots of artwork. Very work. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's probably enough for the first uh, episode. Uh, we did a really short one for Elisa as well, and then you can just like let some details about you drip. Yeah. Uh, episode after episode, you know, to keep the people thirsty and waiting for more. Yes. Yep. Um, so I, the story just starts unraveling <laughs> gradually over time. Yeah, and exactly. People just get deeper and deeper into the sick and twisted world of your life. <laughs> exactly like um, <laughs> like Tolkien did uh, when he when he created the, the character of Aragorn. He had no idea what he was going to do with it, what he was going to make him, and that's kind of different because you are technically real people so I'm not sure where I was going with this technically analogy real. Um, not completely real <laughs> I mean just like sort of real everyone is saying that we are probably living in a simulation so uh, mm. I'm not taking any chances I'm covering my back I'm gonna say technically probably real uh, I think that covers mm-hmm. it up but legally I, and, I, uh, I also feel like we're like most likely to be confused about ourselves I feel like other people are easier to understand sometimes yes yes uh, that's um, that's actually uh, um, the social norm in uh, Japan to not um, you know never uh, apply your own um, thoughts to someone else you know when you think ah. that someone is looking angry or sad you don't say oh uh, you say maybe that person or uh, you know and you never you never think uh, I, I'm explaining this so bad but um Anyway, it's the worst earload on the internet. Uh, the theme today was supposed to be uh, the suicide of Jerry uh, Epstein. <laughs> I think. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I, I'm really shit at celebrities, gossip, Kardashians, and uh, uh, what the other guy that's famous. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a bit more scary than a Kardashian, though. What? But yes. I, I thought we were going to talk about the memes associated yes. with him. Uh, yes, of course. Giles, what did what did you have in mind about this? You uh, picked the topic. Like the way that it's evolving, I would say. Like um, uh, the fact that the memes began with, you know, if we find him dead within two weeks or whatever, yeah. blame the Clintons, and then <laughs> bam. And then um, it disappeared for a okay. little while. And I noticed it's coming back in other meme formats. Like... Um, the meme will start as something else and then by the end of it they've slipped in Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself or whatever mm-hmm. it, yeah yeah it's showing up in a lot of really funny places like diagrams of yeah, tea yeah. and then one of the t- the names of the tea is like Jeffrey Epstein didn't ke- yeah. kill himself I'm, I'm enjoying it mm-hmm. Lebron James yeah. that's the guy I always <laughs> forgot his name <laughs> He looks like James. he looks like uh, oh, no. he looks like another guy. So I always confuse them. Uh, a funny guy who does sam- sampling with a thing. Uh, he, he he does comedy and he samples his voice and he does the funny. Oh, uh, uh, Reggie Watts. 
Yes, they look exactly the same. Yeah, so right, I was okay. confused. But w- w- but the other one is a baseball player, I think. I'm not sure. American celebrities are the same, in my he's, opinion. <laughs> he's a he's a basketball player, and right now I just associate him with Sprite Cranberries. Nice. Yeah, you know, uh, tis the season. You know, there are so many <laughs> American celebrities and. To me, they all look and sound the same. So, as far as I'm concerned, this dude is the same person well, as Dr. Phil. He's a bit of an anti-celebrity. <laughs> like, he, oh, okay, I didn't know that. He, he, like, yeah, Jeffrey he's Epstein? not as public as a, a figure. Yeah. Like, um, in fact, like, oh yeah, they sort of try and bury him a lot. I would say. Well, Jeffrey Epstein is a, he's a he's a very rich uh, money manager. Yeah, and so he wasn't he wasn't outwardly famous, but he knew a lot of yes, famous people, yeah. and yeah. then he became famous for being a very rich yeah. pedophile. Yeah. Exactly, pretty much yeah. exactly like the Kardashians. Uh, they, <laughs> they, they famous for sex. Yeah, um, yeah, in that way, uh, famous for sex. I was gonna say famous for knowing famous people, oh. uh, but okay. also that, also that. It's basically the same. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Every American celebrity is the same. LeBron James, Carter Sheehan, Dr. Phil, Jerry Epstein, same person. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> it's so, <Jerry> you know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not good at remembering names no, 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 no. Um, um, so yeah. yeah to be fair uh, that's what you, you were uh, saying I never heard of him before um, I mean before 2019 and before the, uh, all that happens that I'm not really sure about exactly what happened because I, I hate like celebrity gossip and all that so I didn't really uh, look everything up but apparently he had an island with Bill Clinton mm-hmm. and Whoa. they frequently <laughs> guessed they had some uh, <laughs> uh, underage allegedly they had an underage prostitute but people's people are not sure about it and then alex jones got in the mix and then <laughs> people started uh who else speaks a lot about this guy the the guy who paints memes and uh everyone hates him but for some reason he's famous lush, lush something yeah that guy is yeah. obsessed with uh, him also that's weird and uh there's there's so many weird stuff there's so many um you know uh conspiracy theorists from the far right who are like uh, got yeah, such yeah. a hard on for this dude and they, they well, keep like bringing it's, him it's, up because it's 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 proof of uh, conspiracy of the uh, elite pedophile Jews whatever they say uh, so uh, I'm remember I'm rem- I'm reminded of that uh, guy called David Icke is from the UK and like he's like uh, Alex Jones on crack oh. you know he's like turned up to 11 and he has this huge theory that he explains in great detail on YouTube and shit uh, about the reptilian Illuminati vampire pedophiles ah. they, it's, it's got it's got it all covered up mm-hmm. and it's got this really like compared to him Alex Jones is like y- your mom uh, saying <laughs> random shit at Christmas dinner you know uh, this guy is the real deal and yeah um, I think that a lot of guys like this that are you know maybe not as smart as are as well um, good as, as, as good as um, what I am failing right now <laughs> <laughs> eloquence <laughs> and uh, you know uh, explaining yourself and talking um, eloquence was not the word I was looking for but it's close enough I guess uh, and you know uh, uh, so so instead of doing speeches and explanations and books and all that nerdy shit they make memes because that's the way most of us have been accustomed to expressing ourselves now a few years ago we all were depressed so we posted suicide memes all the time <laughs> and now this guy was more depressed than us actually committed suicide so that's why we all standing him i suppose but did he but did he actually commit suicide that is the subject yeah. of these memes True. Uh, oh yes that he didn't actually commit suicide yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's, I, I, I researched the facts. Giles, are you trying to, did you want to respond to any of that? Um, at one point. Did you say Giles? Yeah, no. Sorry, it's, Giles. I think, I'll see your, okay, Giles. Giles. I, I, sorry. I don't, I don't get offended by I'll, that. I'll learn though. eventually. It's okay. Yeah. Um, I, I cannot, yeah. yeah. To, to Nelson, it's, I'm, I'm really bad at names too, so. It's Gilles yeah. over in France. 
I believe. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, true. Um, uh, you mentioned at one point it's, there's like far right conspiracies about it all. Um, and what, one thing I like about it is that it, it doesn't seem to be like a right meme, a right wing thing, uh, like only a right wing thing. It's like left and right people both think, both want the, like the pedophile elite guys to go down. I think that's that's mm-hmm. contributed to the popularity of the meme. Yes, probably. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I never really sure of the difference between the far right and the far left. Yeah. And I, in my, at a certain point, they're the same thing. My, when you yes, go yes, far yes, enough true, in true, both true, directions, true. they meet up. Um, they meet up at the other end. I've been really interested in politics for a really long time, and the only political theory that has been constantly verified for me is the horseshoe theory. It's absolutely yeah. real. It's everywhere, and uh, that's the one. That's the the only true uh, political thing that keeps you know uh, <laughs> it keeps happening everywhere um, and uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure maybe I think it's far right because people on the right wing are usually better at memes so uh, um, I, I see them their memes more but uh, I'm not surprised that it's kind of a grassroots uh, meme political movement wow that was weird to say <laughs> and even weirder to <laughs> <laughs> grassroots meme political movement. Yeah, gra- yes. grassroots meme <laughs> struggle. What? Well, it Battle? could it could really lead it could lead to some real world um, you know investigations because you know the the New York County Medical Examiner when they they looked at this uh, autopsy. Well, apparently it was first. Oh. The, the autopsy was was first said to be inconclusive pending in further investigation investigation they weren't going to say what the cause of death mm-hmm. was because there were multiple broken bones in this guy's neck that were not consistent with uh, hanging uh, suicide yeah. by hanging and then a couple days later for no apparent reason they didn't say why they ruled it as um, death by suicide and if it weren't for all of these memes that we're putting out it could have died yeah. right there. Huh. But um, people really want to know the truth, and they want to know uh, who who was so interested in in this in Jeffrey Epstein's trial not going through because because lots the idea is people. that yeah. people yeah lots of people that didn't want to be implicated um, didn't want that trial to happen didn't want witnesses coming up just didn't want people getting inspired to come forward and stir the pot and they and they sort of sent out the staff to silence everybody and say hey you know stay stay quiet yeah. about this yeah, so the, the police chief saw all the memes on Instagram and he decided to reopen the investigation he was like yeah but, it does, uh, does seem sort not, of fishy it's, huh it's not it's not the police chief it's um it's it's uh, like the, the you know Jeffrey Epstein's family. They've they've hired other oh, cool. autopsy experts. Um, Can you do it's, that? It's kind of trial. Can you hire it's- autopsy experts if you're not a, yes. if you're not a cop or a judge? Yes. That's so fucking yes, weird. Yes, absolutely. Damn. Yeah. Um, it's necessary when you have a lot of corruption. You, ha- you have to get other other people that know their shit involved because uh the police will will run investigations and make a lot of decisions you know behind closed doors and not release all the information and aren't 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 required to say why so that's crazy. yeah of course how do they uh-huh. that's how crazy they, that's really the the far west how do they handle dead bodies yes, in the France? far west <laughs> I mean, we don't really usually have these kinds of uh, issues. So, um, but uh, we have a lot uh, of issues of um, what's the word, uh, embezzling and stuff like this. Yeah. But you know, the the sexual scandals basically never happens here. Uh, we don't have these kinds of problems. We do have a lot of politicians who steal uh, public taxpayers' money, yes, mm. and uh, use, the, <coughs> use, the, use them for their personal uh, things. And um, so usually those uh, inquiries are very open and public and transparent. Uh, the, the, there was one that was kind of uh, shut down massively recently, the one about the Panama Papers, although oh, a yeah. bunch of... St- yeah, yeah it reminds me a lot of, of... Actually, yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, I believe. I believe it is. I at least it smells the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, a, yeah, a reporter was killed over it. Apparently, the the the, yeah, the guy I mean, who released the papers was murdered, and it sort of got swept under the rug. Yeah, it did. But you know the the investigations are still ongoing. I believe. Cool. I'm not sure. It was so. Um, vague and blurry the way they talked about it and uh it's it was weird because it seemed to be pretty uh boilerplate stuff mm-hmm. like tax evasions stuff like this it's not rocket science yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. Uh, i don't rocket law i don't i don't know how you say uh <laughs> space space rocket law space law it's like bird law but space <laughs> yeah. law yeah, you know that uh, extreme space law. <laughs> space space lawyers are becoming kind of a big thing. Uh, mm. Yeah, because yeah, no, really, because in the enough about Epstein. Uh, Let's no, talk about no, space lawyers. Li- I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that fucking topic. Uh, there's yeah. really not a lot to say. It's just a small, short <laughs> tangent. Uh, but mm-hmm. yeah, uh, it sounds facetious and, and and funny but space lawyers are becoming a big thing because in the 90s a lot of major record labels and all the Disney and Warner Bros and all these guys didn't see they really didn't see <laughs> com- <Fuck Disney. laughs> yes so much I hate them but possibly the, the most evil corporation in the world. But uh, or no, that could maybe that's Apple. Ah, maybe they're tied. Uh, well, how many how many kids have they raped? That's 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 the true marker of evil yeah. right now. <laughs> Disgusting. <Okay>. Um, <laughs> the thing is that in the nineties, the these big. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, he's been mental. Disney has mentally raped many, many children. Oh, yeah. but oh carry indeed, on. indeed. Yeah. God damn, yeah. I cannot. I was mentally understand. raped by Disney. I don't, you know, I don't doubt that a single second. It probably happened many times. I don't understand the people who like the songs, the fucking grating Disney songs from their fucking movies. All right. They're absolutely unsufferable. So many people seem to like them, but they don't really like them, but they sing them all the time. Yeah. And it seems like kind of this weird uh, Stockholm Syndrome toxoplasmosis. <laughs> <laughs> it totally wow, is. Yeah, it's yeah, Stockholm yeah. Syndrome. It's exactly it. Uh, you hit it on the head. Yeah, so that's the that's kind of shit why I cannot trust people who think cats are the best pets. It's just, it's the same <laughs> thing. It's the same mentality. Anyway, what about... What, what, no, yeah. Okay, carry I, on. I, carry on. Back to space I layers. hope you see what I mean. Well, cats have been um, Stockholm syndrome by <laughs> humans, so... No, it's kind of the other way around, actually. Uh-huh. They have a disease called toxoplasmosis uh, that comes into our brains and that force, mm-hmm. forces people to like... Um, <laughs> so people have... But, but cats are awful. They scratch you. They trash down your furniture. They're not nice. They stink so bad. Nice. So uh, you you would think that they're the worst <laughs> pets possible. Uh, but uh, because of this parasite brain, parasite thing yeah, called yeah, toxoplasmosis, yeah, yeah. people are forced to like cats uh, because of the parasite. And, and, and they, so people have the Stockholm Syndrome for cats and people who don't realize it and still uh, like cats and think they're the best pet in my opinion are you know oblivious and blind to their they're, own devices they're insane people not really insane more like they're more or less insane let's just let's just call a spade a spade brainwashed spain. kind of yep. yeah it's more like brainwashed yeah by the feline um, media but it, yeah, and yeah, this yeah, is it, this is actually what the cartoon Garfield <laughs> is is all about. Oh, um, yes, that is Stockholm syndrome it's for about me. This man, for sure. Absolutely, yeah, this man, this 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 violent incel who's controlled by his cat. Absolutely, fucking lutely and everything. You know when the the cat steals his pipe? That's the metaphor of smoking, which is also an addiction, which people know wow. is bad, but they still do it anyway. Uh, it's all you know. We could talk about cats for a long time, talk but we're going back to time. we we're going back to Jerry Jerry Einstein in a few moments. <laughs> Just want to say something about the space lawyers, which I've been trying to say for fifteen minutes, and it's <laughs> yeah, whatever you call him, yeah, Kramer dude. Uh, but yeah, the, um, he's he's no Einstein, but he's an Epstein. Uh, he's 
he's dead anyway, so there's <laughs> nothing to brag about. But I just want to just say no. But you're gonna be so disappointed because it's not a big story and it's really short and it's really not as interesting as I, I made Space it sound. Oil? It's just yes, it's not. It's the opposite of exciting. It's it's a bullshit story that I could have wrapped in literally thirty seconds. No, it's um, some good bits. <laughs> yes, of course. No, we're we're not gonna catch anything. It's perfect, uh, but it's it's stupid to get stuck on that tangent just because space lawyers really not interesting. Um, <laughs> so maybe maybe we could just wait. Y- uh, you said it was songs. No, 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 no. I use the songs as um you know as a metaphor but oh, okay. basically uh, in, in the 90s there were all these major record labels uh, and all the uh, major movie studios Warner Bros Disney Sony uh, all all these guys you know and there was the internet that basically came out of nowhere and the web and Napster and people who started mm-hmm. like streaming movies on the internet and, and downloading and that was in a legal grey area because they hadn't seen it coming and the laws that uh, existed before were not really applicable to the internet mm. um, so so that you know that made them learn their lesson and now when uh, you uh, make a contract for a, a release of a movie or an album with a major studio uh, there is stuff about uh, the um, the fact that it's illegal to uh, perform this music without a license uh, wherever on which uh, on whichever device and on whichever planet or corner of the known universe oh wow Okay. The, the the contracts now because they yeah they didn't see coming the inter- the internet so uh, there was you cannot uh, uh, you, you probably remember you've um, you, you're were born in the eighties like me I believe no. so you probably remember okay but maybe you remember the VHS tapes <laughs> yeah, that okay. uh, yeah you do okay for that, sure uh, always had the, this 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 bullshit at the beginning uh, that said uh, FBI uh, you are not allowed to uh, show uh, this uh, VHS recording mm-hmm. on a, mm-hmm. on an oil day or in a prison or in yeah, a public rig, restaurant they, or, yeah they do specify yeah, oil rigs yeah 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 they did that uh, pr- 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 um, Prisons, oil rigs. Um, you may rigs. not air it on a train. School. You may not air it on a plane. <laughs> School canteens. You, I you mean, may not air it on a house. You may not air it with a mouse. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, they had thought about everything f- physical, but they did not. Uh, the the laws did not uh, envision things like downloads, uploads, and streaming and stuff like this. And uh, mm-hmm. so it was a, it was really a, a headache for them at 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 the start to try and grab as ma- as much money as possible, even if they weren't really losing anything. They're, they're kind of like uh, went. Uh, uh, you know panic and all that shit so now you you when you see when you sign the contract uh, it's precised that uh, you you cannot um, diffuse this medium uh, on whichever device and mm. uh, whichever to whichever person and on whichever planet of the solar system or any cor- uh, any galaxy of the known universe and there are space lawyers which have to make these contracts and make sure that everything is respected and is foreseen uh, you know mm. every every problem has been um, thought about and uh, prepared for space yeah, nice. law yeah. That's a thing. So if they Sadly. push, if That's great. Epstein floated out of a um, a space station and died, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and people were like, mm. he didn't push himself out into space. They'd be like, well, this is a case for the space <laughs> lawyers. Yeah, yeah. He asked Hal to let him back in, and Hal was like, "I'm afraid I can't do that, Jeffrey." <laughs> But you know, if he had downloaded, if he had downloaded Toy Story Four or something like that on the space station, <laughs> then he could have been indicted for pirating. So, uh, space pirate. Space. This pirates. whole thing would have been over way quicker if he just pirated Toy Story Four. <laughs> I'm always Disney would have been way up on his plane. I'm always reminded constantly. You know, yeah. this always reminds me of that. Um, 
that anecdote about Al Capone, um, one one another American celebrities uh, that I, you know, <laughs> I know, I I know he had pinstripe suits, and uh, yeah, I know he was indicted for tax evasion. Because yeah. they could not catch him, they could not catch him for for any of his crimes, the mafia stuff, all that. He covered his tracks way too well, and his lawyers were too good, and there were not enough proof, not enough evidence. But they got him for tax evasion, and he mm -hmm. went to prison and died there because he dodged some taxes because just of tax fraud. He he also had um, yeah, he chlamydia or something like that. Um, and he, he yeah, was syph actually syphilis, I yeah, think. syphilis and he was actually syphilis. going I, I believe insane. it's syphilis yeah. yeah 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 well you know it's hard to d declare taxes on like money that you get yeah. for performing hit jobs and you know uh, moon moon, moon you know, lighting like, or selling something. moonshine and all that moon oh, lighting when, moonshining when when you, yeah, if you're doing illegal activity you can't really pay taxes on that shit So. And you cannot even do it on the moon because of the space lawyers. <laughs> so yes. when, when, no. when you started saying moon, no, I thought that was where you where you're gonna go. Uh, yeah. But no, just moonshine. You can't sell you can't sell moonshine on uh. the moon because of space law. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he that's um, called earth he, lighting, he got but... caught. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he could, he could have, he could have uh, mm -hmm. done some laundering. That's what people do normally. I mean, I, I think his fortune yes. came mm -hmm. from laundering. Like, um, wait, are we still talking about Epstein? Oh no, I, we can go back to Epstein. We we're talking about oh, Al Capone. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, 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 same, same difference. Um, um, general crooks and scoundrels yeah, and low yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, Al Capone didn't get given all his money like Epstein he sort mm. of dug yeah. it out of, was that prohibition era like America still yeah yeah he was he was a he was a booze yeah. smuggler so basically like, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah he 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 benefited from the fact that like there was just a dumb law around at the time and he's like yeah I'm just gonna profit off of this and then he just did Mm -hmm. Yeah, good for him. Nice. Yeah, doing something that's very, very legal now and nobody yeah. cares. So it's it's kind of fun to like gl glamorize gangsters because like we don't consider alcohol right. well, bad in any way it, now. I guess that's what it's so like. They're, they're safe. It's like with, are, you with implying, are you implying that in a century hiring underage prostitutes will be legal so we don't won't give a shit about Epstein <laughs> that was Jeffrey Epstein's dream apparently so one one interesting fact about him is that he brought a New York Times reporter over to his house in like 2018 mm -hmm. and was just openly bragging about like all the stuff that he was doing and he um Yeah, he, he apparently said that uh, in the future, love love between a young woman, lo like the love of the love of young women, will be no more vilified than homosexuality. Mm -hmm. This was this was his dream. It's like all about about free love, and one day everybody's going to accept him. And so he had he had this reporter over, and he had the reporter sign a non disclosure agreement. So right after the death, the the reporter came out and wrote this big. Um, Bed article right. about all of it, but I don't know why he had the reporter over in the first place. It seems like you're really asking for some, yeah, what, some people for hide trouble. in plain sight. They're, they're like, what's the point like of yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the point of letting a reporter come and then making him, making him uh, sign a non-disclosure agreement? Yeah, that's, that's also, weird. I maybe he, maybe he realized it was a bad idea, and he's like, you know what? I've actually said too much. Here's a contract. Uh, Don't tell yeah. anyone. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he know. realized that nobody trusts journalists anymore, yeah. and with all the fake news scandals, he says, "If journalists mm -hmm. say this, then people will believe the opposite." Ah. Maybe. I. I. I think he. I think he just wanted to to brag to somebody yeah. about how clever yeah. he was. And uh, this guy, like, maybe it was something specific about this guy that just just made him want to open up to him or something. But I don't know if you if you want to if you want to pay to download the article from New York Times, you can read more about Certainly it. Certainly, fucking not. I just heard the paraphrasing. Not. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, 
doesn't doesn't seem that smart to me. Nothing about this guy. I mean, I haven't heard the story of his whole life, but he doesn't sound mm. really smart. He's a mysterious figure. No. Yeah, he's a mysterious, crooked, very rich individual. And Nelson, I thought you might you might care more about this because um, he really had a predilection for uh, young French models. <laughs> a lot of the women that he flew out to his, the, the, a lot of the girls he flew out to his island where these aspiring young French models. He loved French girls. So, like, I, as as a Frenchman, <laughs> do you feel kind of protective of your like of your of your country women, your sisters, for like all the bad? things that happened to to them at the hands of this this creepo well i was not aware of that and i uh i don't know what happened do we have any evidence or is this just like yeah. hearsay and and rumors and stuff like that yeah there's a lot of evidence oh really yeah i didn't know that i just saw the memes yeah, no, you should, I mean, yeah, there's just, I mean, I don't know all, like, the whole laundry list of all the case, but, like, this is, there's, like, a lot of, a lot of testimonies, a lot of, a lot of witnesses, the, um, and more and more of this was coming out. basically a, man huh. a manifest of, of everyone who, who went on the plane to his island, and, um, would just sort of, he made a lot of money through blackmail, apparently, so, um, people, oh. people who were afraid of, just like any of it getting out would pay money to keep it buried and so yeah he just like um mm -hmm. prince prince i want to get the right prince prince, yeah, andrew. prince andrew is implicated and apparently that meant that the uh mm -hmm. the um like the palace or whatever um has has tried to keep it all squashed as well mm -hmm. which is big yeah, money but, yeah okay <clears throat> Uh, okay, I'm kind of surprised. I thought that most of it was made up and just basically rumors. I didn't know there was evidence at all. Uh, I, I, as I said, I mainly saw the the memes, and I thought it was just people, you know, blowing up out of proportion, uh, oh, yeah. a random dude for no reason. No, no, th this guy, this guy being a major pedophile with like lots and lots of child prostitutes like that's that's not really disputed mm. the, huh. the thing that's left now is did he actually kill himself yeah, and how, where does or it go back? Yeah. was that was that foul play okay yeah, and, who, and who and who cares like who 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 would want to yeah. kill him that's that's the question i mean there's probably a, a if what you're saying if what you're saying is true there's probably a very very long list but i'm if there's <laughs> the, already the evidence are at the top, then <laughs> i mean depending on who yeah, you ask yeah, it may yeah. or may not be the clintons yeah. Uh, if you if you're a Demo if you're a Democrat, it's Trump. If you're a Republican, yeah, it's the Clintons. Yeah, but, that's, yeah, yeah. Essentially, they're all the on record. There's all photos of them, and you know that. I think that's why it's that's why I was saying it's like left and right. It's like politically mm -hmm. useful for both sides, for the the whole thing, for everyone mm -hmm. to be caught or whatever. Okay, but yeah, question that I'm not I'm not understanding right. if there was already the case with a lot of evidence witnesses all that then why does it matter if he lived or died what difference does it make well the the story dies um, if and, if uh, mm. no one if if no well, one like no. follows it up cuz cuz the of charges the charges so, were dropped apparently when he died which means that the investigation dies that the, doesn't the, make sense. the point the 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 point is if 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 we're not investigating him anymore because he's already dead are we are we not going to find out about other super major billionaire pedophiles yeah. that are doing the yeah. same thing and are going to continue doing this uh, because yeah, the see. investigation was dropped yeah uh -huh. so okay yeah, okay, it makes sense now that you say it this way. It's uh, w mm -hmm. way less funny than I uh, thought. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, it's not funny at all. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just funny that um, that it's it looks very much like a murder, and that the government thinks that we're gonna forget about it. But we're we're making a lot of memes to try to push for the truth to come out. Yeah, governments so do that. Meme, meme Memes could end up changing the course of yeah. history. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys know about this, <laughs> but in in 1986, 
um, in France, uh, the government told us that we should not worry about the radioactive cloud coming from Chernobyl because it had been stopped at the border. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cloud, you don't have a yeah, passport. Yeah. You can't come into France. <laughs> and there's... There, <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> there's never been an official apology or, you know, anything for it. And so it not letting the cloud become, in the country or... <laughs> you know, for this, this <laughs> brilliant <laughs> act of political communication. <laughs> All hail the glow cloud. But, uh, mm. yeah, that has become kind of a meme. Uh, in in the whole country and it's still to this day more than 30 years later uh, people are, are still very cognizant of this and the meme is still passed around all the time yeah so, well uh, I like that yeah, go- the Chernobyl that's, cloud that's the normal government I mean normal usual government stuff I suppose they always do yeah. that shit and ours are far from the worst I, I believe I mean when you compare them to uh, probably the majority of governments on earth with mm. all, the, all the shit that's happening in the um, Venezuela and Bolivia and mm-hmm. Chile and Saudi Arabia, Yemen, China. Uh, yeah. And the least... Super, super corrupt. The least could go on because there's really a bunch of bullshit happening right now. We are kind of <laughs> privileged. Yeah, yeah, we we have Jeffrey Epstein, you know, doing this stuff with all of your your fine young French women uh, on his island. But uh, you like, I don't know, Thailand's openly known for for sexual mm-hmm. tourism and exploitation of children. Yes, there's like a yeah, lot of yeah. places where where child prostitution is just a fact of life, and it's like not barely even secret. Yeah, this, you know? uh, this we are, uh, and they pride themselves. Thailand on having an age of consent as high as 18 years old, uh, which is mm-hmm. kind of it's weird because they have this uh, they have this weird uh, government in Thailand that is basically kind of a roller coaster. They have this well, king, have kings, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. which and their king mm-hmm. their king seems to be a really cool guy on some aspects like uh, when there was a tsunami uh, a few years ago he de- he really he did stopped uh, the border. He, <laughs> no, but there was there was a lot of there was a lot of shit that went down, and he did a huge relief effort to try to rebuild the homes of people. Do a, 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 he saved a lot of people, and he, this um, this apparently uh, went much better than in some neighboring countries because, of course, tsunami doesn't normally stop at the border, but he, <laughs> you know. He, he, he sent the army to save people to repair stuff and uh, things apparently went as well as you can hope after this kind of you know natural disaster yeah. but on the other on, on the other end there's some like weird laws on there because um, uh, if you step on a portrait of the king you, you go to jail mm. like Di- directly mm-hmm. to jail and that's a little complicated because his face is on all the banknotes so if you uh, if a banknote you know slips from your fingers and you step on it uh, you you can go to right to jail without it maybe even without a trial so uh, it's uh, yeah. it's weird you could um you could pave a floor with tiles of his face and no one could walk across it that's an interesting yep. uh yeah 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 if you wanted to guard something yeah. special you should guard well, you it with a rug, uh face you could tiles. put a rug across face it when tiles. you walk and then pull the rug away and then no one else could follow you oh that's an interesting legal loophole <laughs> That's clever. Yeah. Um, G- Giles, do you have any famous conspiracies in Australia um, that, that get people all hot? Yeah, there's this guy who went swimming and never w- came back. Mm. Yeah. Um, that was a while ago. In typical Australian fashion, I'm not aware of much of Australian political history uh, or yeah. just history in general. <laughs> celebrity history anything uh, anything juicy reason, anything cool I know a lot or? about American celebrities um, I'm the opposite of, oh, okay. of Nelson um, um, Australian 
Conspiracies. <laughs> Wallabies don't exist. Wow. To, to be They're fair, like a small kangaroo. <laughs> No to be fair, to I know a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> They're not real. That's a conspiracy. Drop, drop bears. Oh, are you, know what, you know what? Sure. Yes, the drop bears. Yeah, yeah. I learned recently that that's not real. The drop bears. No, yeah, not, I, not I, at all. For years, I believe. Wait, what's not real? The drop bears. <laughs> that, well, I don't know what that is. It's, it's, it's kind of like it's a myth. Koalas they, with rabies. Yeah. <laughs> they tell a lot it's of tales. It's basically the. Uh, the, the Australian equivalent of Bigfoot, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's an Australian conspiracy, is the drop yeah, bears, yeah. but they're, they're actually not no. real. Okay. There's still that's stuff the to be aware of, of in, um, in Australia. <laughs> We've got lots of snakes and spiders, um, uh, yeah. sharks, but, you know. jellyfish. Yeah. That, yeah, they're pretty much ubiquitous around the world. Snakes and spiders are pretty much in every country. We, we I suppose. have we have nine uh, of the ten I most think... deadly snakes. But the, yeah, they're they're way uh, deadlier in Australia. That's that's the whole idea. That's what Australia is mainly yeah. famous for. I had also heard true, that a true. lot of Australians have herpes, but then somebody told me I was very wrong <laughs> about that. So it is. I don't go around saying that anymore. Herpes is more common than people realize. It is estimated yeah, that ninety yeah. percent of people in the world, ninety percent, nine people Whoa. out of ten, have herpes in some form or, or another. Whether that's cold sores or etc. Yeah, it's a, actually in most people, it doesn't do any symptoms at all. So it's kind of yeah. like mm -hmm. dormant, as they say. You're kind of like a carrier. healthy carrier. Yeah. I, be yeah, I believe is the term. But I, yeah, it is believed by most scientists. It's basically the scientific consensus that nine persons out of ten in the whole world have herpes because it's so contagious. It's insanely contagious. Hmm. So if I got tested for herpes and I don't have it, then I'm like in a special minority. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, 10%, it's more, 10% is more than left-handed people or redheads. So that's still not a small, small minority. Oh, I should put that in my, um, but maybe you would, like my Twitter, my Twitter profile. <laughs> I don't have herpes. Maybe you would be, uh, you would be entitled to some, <laughs> uh, uh of your audience affirmative yeah. actions. Yeah. <laughs> you're what? like, you're like, um, what? Uh, there's a better term than segregate. Uh, you'll alienate most of your audience. Oh, yeah yeah oh yeah by by like having this herpes like yeah. non-herpes yeah. carrier superiority 90 percent of people who have it will yeah. be like oh like f flexing Gross. on me yeah. yeah yeah you know it's it's crazy but i if i'm being totally honest i look down on people who have the genetic mutation that makes cilantro taste like soap and i know they're born like this mm -hmm. and i know it's not their fault i cannot help it it's my they're weak it's crazy you know my it's my heart my my mind is pretty cool guy but my heart is such an asshole i have just so so many negative emotions about people and the world that if i if i just spoke from the heart <laughs> i'd be like f fucking in, in jail for hate things but fortun yeah. fortunately i have this really strong um how, how do you say super ego uh that is <laughs> way str way stronger than my uh heart and and gut and feelings uh so uh i i end up being quite moderate and chill but uh, yeah, it's. But basically, your entire and your entire mind is a hate crime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not my mind. That makes sense. Not my mind. His my mind is chill. Okay, no, my no. mind. So, something, is, something. Okay. I would say, deeper than your mind. I, your soul. Your soul is a hate crime. I mean, sure. I don't believe in the existence of a soul, so that's perfect. Uh, okay. But yeah, you know, you know your gut feelings. You know when you are, you listen to your heart. You know. Yeah, I call that a soul sometimes, but I'm I'm kind of loosey goosey with words. Well, when I do this, I become you know Hitler. I, okay. But <laughs> fortunately, my, my mind and thought and uh, logic and reason is much much stronger than my emotions, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it governs most of my life. Uh, I mean, I still let. My, my heart win on a lot of occasions uh, like for example if I'm craving some chocolate cake I'm gonna buy it mm. uh, yeah. I, I have to let it win some stuff otherwise it becomes 
too powerful and it's a it's a it, constant it manifests battle in different inside ways me. yeah yeah I have I have a theory. You know how Hitler was really bad at art, and then he turned to he wasn't mass yes. murder. He wasn't that bad. Yeah, he, he was, was he, ordinary and mediocre. He was. I mean, you I saw his paintings. Yeah. Bad. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah, I mean, mediocre, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, probably if he had more practice and stuff, because he was at oh, the yeah. war, and if he had, he would have been mm. probably not a great painter, but uh, a okay one you know an ordinary one probably mm. uh, he, he was not really bad at it he was just unremarkable and kind of subpar but anyway yeah so well my, my theory is that if you had really sucked at making memes and like you didn't have that as an outlet you would you would be our next Hitler you know think- my first boss told me exactly this I mean not exactly but pretty much <laughs> This is yeah, why we um, have to keep encouraging you so you don't become the next Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, We're just very supportive of you, Nelson. We just, <laughs> we just, we want you to stay safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, oh. I will stay safe. It's for other people that you should be worried. <laughs> okay. Hitler, yeah, Hitler didn't right. make it out well, there. You know. Yeah, he killed himself he just like Jerry Einstein. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. everything, is, Jerry, Jerry Einstein. Everything is in cycle. Of, yeah, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Kramer. That's thing. cool. Dude, would yeah, mm-hmm. would yell and dude. Um. <laughs> yep. He is a lot like Woody Allen, though. That was one of, the, one of the people that he was bragging to the reporter that he hung out with, like uh, Jeffrey Jeffrey Epstein and Woody Allen. Oh, really? Apparently would hang out and, uh, yeah, bang children Jesus. together. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. Uh, that's uh, shit, I, f- I forgot my train of thought. Um but yeah. it's bad yes it's, yeah 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 it's not good his heart was yes. interrupting with that sounds rad <laughs> no, no no I was just I was just gonna talk <laughs> oh my god actually That's... not not quite that bad I was just gonna talk shit about Jews but uh, <laughs> I was not going to defend pedophiles I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna you have you have a you have a Jew on the line so yeah so, oh, uh, so, be so basically yeah. I have a you know I have a pass <laughs> so I can oh wait what do you give me the you... the J word pass do I, so I can, uh, to say Jew yeah you can say no, Jew yeah, with... yeah I know I can say Jew but you know okay um are you allowed oh, to talk shit about Jews with me on the line? Yeah, because yes. if I'm saying Go for if it. I'm saying something wrong, you can just correct me. Uh, and okay, I, yeah, I, uh, oh, yeah. It was the thing about banging. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm I just opened Firefox by mistake. So if a video starts playing, I'm gonna cut it down. Uh, but I uh, shit, I'm. You know, we're talking about uh, Epstein yeah, and nice. Woody Allen, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, going together to, to bang uh, children, apparently. Famous famous Jewish pedophiles, yeah. Uh, yes, and the word, you know, I, actually, I don't know the word in English, but I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Um, c- custom. It's, uh, it, it's custom? A, yeah, it seems to be the custom. Some some sort of a Jewish custom. Oh, uh, that's what. That's what, is a Jewish custom. That's what I was gonna say. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mostly, I mean, mostly Jews, as Jews a are joke. known for a, Jews are known for a lot of other things. <laughs> that's just yeah, but that just two two people that happen to be Jewish that happen to be happen to be very rich, successful pedophiles. Um, but there's a lot of rich, successful Jews that. Um, I don't know, uh, make art, tell really good jokes, um, earn a lot of money making movies, um, like uh, have political office, are doctors. Um, Why was there's a lot of there's a lot of things that rich Jews like to do. Yes, of course. I a mean, a lot of things. Yeah. Um, what was the one that was before? There was a what? there was a big scandal about underage sex with a rich Jew right before um, 
Epps. Uh, there was there is there is Harvey Weinstein. But That's they weren't underage. One. Those those were those were actresses. Those were women that wanted to become famous actresses, and and Harvey Weinstein was like, "You can oh, become a famous actress, is, but you have to blow me." This yeah. is. A great segue because uh, that will uh, you know allow me to go even lower I, I started I started as, as like a, a racist joke very ordinary but that brings me to an interesting point of debate uh, do you think it's really worse when it's children or is it as heinous and uh, it's it rape is really bad and the age of the victim does not really matter because a lot of, a lot of people uh -huh. seem to have seem to be weirdly keen on defending children and mm -hmm. a lot of time when people do that um, it makes it makes them not trustworthy to me because when people say oh, think of the children usually they have a hidden agenda not so hidden and they usually really assholes you know like the pro-life people and all that shit all that trash um I, i'm supposed to be accepting and nice to everyone you know usually politically and socially i'm a moderate that is uh really um friendly with the left as well as with the right but there's a few things that is that are over the line for me and uh, pro-life are uh, this kind of, you know, a little too low for me to defend them. Uh, that's, uh, I do a little exceptions sometimes. So, yeah. Do you, do you, do you want to so, go first? Yeah. Uh, no, I want you to go uh, first. Yeah, the youngest first. It's a fitting. I reckon, um, it, I mean, technically it's like... <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a recent child, <laughs> but how do you weigh in on this? Exactly. Uh, I reckon, well... As a zoomer. Well, uh, children are less <laughs> um, prepared and less able to cope with, say, the trauma of, of being, like, assaulted. Um, so, and it's also sort of more like two crimes at once because pedophilia on top of rape is like, it, it, I mean, in a legal sense, it's a larger crime. Um, uh, and I think if you could find someone who's legitimately preying on children, I think they're a more evil sort of dude or, or girl. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm maybe. like extra. I, I was prejudiced. not. I was not expecting. I was not expecting an answer as serious as this one. <laughs> but it, it's, it seemed perfectly earnest. It seemed perfectly earnest. Yeah. Um, so the the thing the thing that we get so caught up about the child the child rape is that technically all sex between an adult and a minor is rape mm. even if you can get the kid into it we don't even we don't even go into specifying whether or not they were able to like manipulate yeah. the child um we just we just classify all of it as rape so that's uh, yeah. that's why that's why we immediately say it was rape but having having no, sex yeah. with an adult prostitute is completely different yeah. you're paying somebody paying somebody for sex and it's an adult it's completely different than paying somebody for sex and it's a child you can have consensual paid sex with a sex worker um and you cannot do that with mm. a child by definition yeah. because um they they just don't have the full brain development to make a decision like that for themselves mm. yes it's uh, I, i'm reminded of the um, that in english speaking countries a child and minor are synonyms and even on a legal standpoint they're uh, they're mm. the same thing uh it's it's not the case here so that was a kind of a culture shock at first uh um, for me when i learned that but uh yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh there's not a lot of nuance uh, in english in a lot of domains that is one of them i'm not sure if that's uh, relevant but i uh, what was i Uh, me, I, I was I was going somewhere, I was going somewhere, and that was not in this direction at all. <laughs> <laughs> there, the, the, there were a bunch of French existentialists who like got together at one point, and um, they try they signed a document together wanting to lower the age of consent in 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 France, saying that younger women would be liberated by the ability to consent from like age 13 onwards. Mm-hmm. 
maybe mm-hmm. that changed the yeah, discourse maybe, maybe entirely. Epstein just followed followed those guys. Yeah, uh, oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that has Ep- Epstein was just a French existentialist who wanted yeah. to bang uh, teenage well, French just models. Just like every other yeah. French existentialist. You know, on s- yeah, apparently yeah, on some uh, level, it has kind of become the dominant sentiment uh, because there's a, in a lot of countries uh, in the majority of countries in the world uh, there's this thing called statutory rape yeah. which uh, yeah. and which uh, uh, and we, when you have uh, um, when you have sex with a, a girl or a boy under a certain age it's automatically rape uh, we don't have yeah. we do not have that here and okay. recently a, a, a coalition of communists and SJWs and hardline left-wing socialists tried to implement it, but it was stonewalled by the right wing and the centrists uh, in the name of French exceptionalism, which is a thing that people use all the time to justify all kind of stuff. And... Um, it was not so long ago. I remember it was maybe two years ago, something like this. It was. It's quite recent. Um, maybe it was in twenty sixteen. I mean, it, but it's yeah. It's it's recent, recent. So. so so if you have if you have sex with it if you're if you're if you're not a teenager but you have sex with a an underage teenager in France it's tried very differently than if you forcibly raped a teenager in France. Yes, correct? absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here yeah. here there's there's really no difference yes, between uh, those things. Uh, and and yeah. that that's wh- that's why uh, this uh, thing happened because a guy had sex with a. 10 year old girl but he was able to prove uh, at the at the trial uh, that she consented so he basically got a pass mm. and just slap on the wrist and a lot of people uh, debated about this is it good is it bad what's consent when does it start and that's why uh, the far left people try to uh, put this law that uh, put a hard um, age of consent limit at uh, 15 uh, mm-hmm. but we have technically um age of age of consent is technically uh, 15 but if i remember correctly um when you go when you have sex with someone younger it's not a crime it's just a felony or something like this like it's uh it's technically uh kind of like a sexual assault but it's not considered as as rape uh of like a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor is yeah. less serious than a felony. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's the yeah, um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That that was a yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of weirdness concerning the sexual laws in France. Uh, uh, I remember rape was not a crime until really recently. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. It was I think the same misdemeanor or felony. I'm not sure the, the difference, but uh, I, misdemeanor is less than a felony. Yeah, felony it, is serious. It, felony will get you sent to prison so I think it was felony but it might have been misdemeanor but it it was not a crime until like Mm -hmm. 1990 something like this or in the 90s Um, and uh, also really recently they raised the legal age of marriage uh, for girls from 15 to 18 Mm -hmm. so uh, there's stuff happening and there's lots of debate and everyone seems pretty uh, lost about it and no one seems to really understand the the laws surrounding it it's and that's a really weird situation where it's as it's uh it's very i mean legally it's not vague and blurry but in the mind of most people it's really vague and blurry right. some people even some people even believe that it's illegal to have sex with someone uh, younger than 18 which is absolutely not the case and uh it's 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 confused um with a thing called um uh, minor hijacking uh, which is um which is kind of the uh, anglicism uh, but uh, actually it's uh, a minor hijacking is the act of subtracting a minor to the authority of his parents so if you invite a minor to live at your house uh, and his parents are not 
uh, 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 agreeing with this, even if there's nothing sexual uh, uh, between you at all, mm. just, just doing this, like uh, uh, that's minor hijacking, and uh, and it has nothing to do with sex. And, and so many people got this confused. It's 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 kind of weird. So um, it's uh, it's interesting f for me to see that it's in English speaking countries, uh, people have uh, have a much better understanding of their laws surrounding it and uh, mm -hmm. it's it seems much clearer uh, that kind of thing happening here would have most people shrugging um, mm -hmm. and uh, as I, I saw especially on Reddit people get like really really angry about these kind of things and they have this really um, ideas like even uh, if, if if you're uh, already part of the workforce but uh, you uh, uh, are in a relationship with a college student uh, then it's, it's bullshit because you are at different uh, times in, in your life and it's it's not good uh, it's uh, a, <laughs> a, a, a lot of people on, on Reddit would would, uh, would tell you that it's basically rape uh, if uh, your girlfriend is uh, still in college but uh, you still have your you already have your diploma because you are at different points in your life and you're totally different and your mind is completely at a different point and whatever oh, and yeah, uh, it, seems, uh, areas, it seems a very very american thing um uh, that is a, a little a little strange um i mean not necessarily strange but strange as in the um, literally strange like a stranger uh, thing for foreign exotic yeah and it's not always easy to understand for me um what's going on in in these people's minds mm -hmm. so uh yeah so that, that's why that's why i discarded the epstein thing as you know uh just a, a stupid thing because they Americans because your heart says it sounds rad this may be why two, he two, two, two reasons yeah two reasons one is because uh, Americans are always uh, yelling about sex stuff whatever it is and uh, if something sex happens uh, we remember Monica Lewinsky which was like this huge mm -hmm. thing uh, here it would it would not even have been a headline in a local newspaper but um yeah uh it's um there was yelling about sex stuff and it's not always clear why and also according to my experience a lot of people who s who claim that they're here to defend children usually are assholes with nasty agendas so that's why i sure. completely ignored the whole thing and uh i i'm trying to find the the proper word but I, I'm it's not discarded it's not um, shit what's the word when you ignored. when you ignore something yeah that's <sighs> disregarded is that what yeah, you're pro for? probably yeah uh, but yeah. ignored works and uh, I, I'm learning right now that it was actually a serious real thing um, you know maybe yeah, not, not yeah, just a maybe not as serious as that yeah Yeah, may maybe not as serious as the Panama Papers because uh, uh, money laundering and tax evasion mm -hmm. and wage theft is seems much worse because it's such a, on a larger scale and affects so much more people uh, and governments and uh, the whole world. But uh, still, still uh, not. Uh, still worse than I thought there's and a, more serious there's an, yeah. SJ, there's an SJW in the back of my mind like that wants to argue with you on that and say that the the Epstein thing like that that um the the trafficking and whatever is way worse than than wage theft or whatever but I I, I, I sort of see what you're saying as far as like yeah you know how, how I don't, much it affects know. or or yes exactly I regret saying uh, worse but I, I, I re but yes obviously it affects much more many more people uh, if you evade the taxes uh, and uh, you know l l launder money and embezzlement and all that stuff mm. it has a, a much greater effect on many many more people right, so it's right. uh, it's not it's mm -hmm. not worse but it has much bigger consequences on you know a broader real world impact much much broader yeah yeah 
Yeah, it, well, it's, you know, um, yeah, by, by United States laws and United States morals, what he did was absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, here we do, we do conflate any type of sex between an adult and a minor, regardless of the nature of it. If, if it's under 18, like we just call all of it rape. So it's, it's really hard to say exactly what, yeah. you know, he did when we, when we don't even want to look into those differences because looking into those differences feels like excusing it. And we, and we want to say that it's all bad and it's all very illegal and should be pu pu punished to the full ex mm. extent. But I think it's, it is very interesting that he specifically targeted French teenagers because they may have had parents that were more, you know, open to it, more willing to say, yeah, sure, go, go hang out with this rich guy. Like, yeah, the looser, the you looser know, if, if your laws, yeah, yeah you're, 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 well, your morals there are a lot more fluid around underage yeah. sex. So he, it seems like, yeah, he may have gotten away with it with, with less of a worry about causing problems or getting, getting charges pressed against him with, with French girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why, um, that's why uh, this guy, the, the other guy, has, uh, yet another rich um, cinema type guy has a um, political asylum in France, uh, despite... Uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein? No, 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 no. Uh, oh. uh, older... Woody Allen? Older, uh, oh. an older case that was uh, from a, a really long oh. time ago. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. He went no, to France. Um, the the guy who did Chinatown, the guy who directed oh, Chinatown um, in Polanski. the 70s. That's Milos, Milos uh, oh yeah, Roman, yeah. Roman Polanski. Milos Foreman. Roman Polanski. Yeah. Roman Polanski. Yeah. Yeah. dude, as far as I know. Yeah, I was I was mixing oh, them cool, up. Yeah. Sorry, Milos, He's, if you're yeah. listening. <laughs> sorry, I, I, sorry, your name came out of my whore mouth. So, but yeah, so, uh, uh, Roman Polanski. <laughs> So yeah, Ro Roman Bolanski, uh, there's a lot of uh, evidence and it has been proven that he, he raped a girl, a 13 year old in the 70s, in the uh, but uh, <laughs> then he, yeah, uh, in the butt. yeah, yeah, because uh, she told him with butter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wrong movie, anyway. but uh, yeah, sorry. yeah, he uh, she, uh, she told him that she was not on the pill, so that's why uh, he he switched the whole. <laughs> but that's not really that. That's not really an important uh, detail of the story. <laughs> what what happened later is that Giles, he, uh, stop it. He, um, <laughs> yeah, he got a political asylum. I mean, he still has it. Political asylum in, in France, mm -hmm. uh, and there there's uh, there's been a huge petition with uh, a, a thousand celebrities, actors, models uh, defending him and saying that uh, he should not be uh, uh, extradited. Uh, and I uh, should be protected because he uh, did great movies, so uh, that excuses uh, his behavior. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's how artists are. are. He's uh, like eccentric, and that's uh, what people believe. So, um, <laughs> yeah, just a little rape, a little crime. Fall under you know, it just goes with the territory. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Yeah. Um, great, great. Okay, so if we were all great artists here, which yeah. I feel like we yeah. are, um, what and you could you could get away with any crime? What what crime would you want to commit? Hmm. All of them. <laughs> that was his heart. That was his heart. <laughs> I heard Straight your from heart the heart. Coming through the mic. Coming through the microphone. It's <laughs> no, an interesting um, question. It'd be mostly yeah. drug related, probably. I just want to do a whole lot of cocaine and not have to be afraid of cops getting in my shit. Yeah, I mean, come to Los Angeles. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you. Where yeah. to go. I mean, if that counts, of course, because most most drug related stuff is not crime. It's more like misdemeanors. You or, can't uh, snort lines or, in the street without the cops going, like, getting mad about oh, it. Oh yeah, if you want to. Yes, of course, but I believe that's not a crime. It's more like a felony. Oh, okay, or, uh, it depends. But well, uh, what, what? you're mixing up felony and misdemeanor. I think misdemeanor is it's the soft crime. one. Felony, felony is where you um, where you go to prison and you get butt raped. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Get but um, <laughs> you, get you get a felony. You go to prison. You get Polanski. You get the eccentric bada bing, bada bang. <laughs> 
there is there is i believe a huge difference in terms of legal uh consequences between possession and sale right, of right, drugs yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so if if yeah. you if you sell drugs then there, yes you're probably going to go to prison but if you get caught with drugs on you uh i mean if, uh, if you, depends yeah, on how if much you, that's a big thing here depends, is possession depends on what, over a certain depends amount. on what product especially uh, if you have yeah. a certain for, amount yeah. of of a thing they'll charge you for for dealing because you have more than would be reasonable for you to have even if exactly. it was yeah, all for I mean, you uh, at least they will try they will, I, I know that they try to do this a lot they just straight they up do it succeed, as far as I know they will, if they weigh it and it's above a certain amount you get done for dealing yeah there's no there's no like it, here here for yeah. sure yeah that, it, that's a huge huge thing I mean, people people just have a lot of drugs on them and they get busted for intent to sell all the fucking time all the time i mean yes uh, but uh I, I don't know how it is in other countries but what i really know is how it works here is that okay. a lot of the time if cops bust you with a lot of drugs they will try to charge you for uh selling and all, all that but then it comes to a trial and the judge will be like yeah no uh, this guy is not a dealer uh, cut off cut your shit mm -hmm. uh he will he will do uh 80 hours of uh cleaning the streets uh, and then uh, it, it's it's fine it happens to uh, that's it's very kind. It, it, it's very kind. It happened to my uh, to one of my cousins recently. Uh, he was busted with nice. uh, like uh, several kilograms of weed in his backpack. Oh man! Like a huge, mm -hmm. like a huge amount. That, and, that is uh, a lot. And yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah, the the he was busted by the cops, and uh, the, it was it was uh, he went to trial, and the judge was like, you can see that it's just a young man uh, who wanted to smoke with his friends, uh, and so uh, they <laughs> they uh, the. the <laughs> <laughs> so, um, We're talking yeah, about over I a mean, thousand grams here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but uh, uh, th that's true. I, 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 he, they weren't they weren't lying. That's really the what was going on. It was not Damn. a deal. It was just the life of the party. Yes, exactly, precisely. And yeah. so, uh, so uh, the um, the executioner uh, got him a, <laughs> a, a new play. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you call it, but uh, here uh, there's this uh, executioner guy who's kind of a uh, like like uh, it's it's kind of like a, a, it's a, a judge and an attorney at the same time, okay. but it's, it's for petty oh, okay. it's for petty offenses. Yeah, uh, sounds okay. like a lawyer. Like if you, really. uh, <laughs> executioner. No, because uh, no, like he works. I think of <laughs> he works. And uh, it's, it works for the state. Okay. And, uh, the the D like the district attorney. Or something. Yeah, I think that's basically anyway. the same thing. Uh, so okay. uh, they they uh, they got him like uh, seventy hours of uh, uh, janitorial work uh, in the streets, and they found him a, a new apartment and a new job, and it went really well for him. Um, they they, wow. they they really uh, they say uh, if you if you really want to put your life back on track, we'll help you. Uh, that's uh, what that's the nice. justice system is all about. That's what the justice system is all about. It's rehabilitation. Uh, and uh, so uh, so yeah, he uh, he he was really nice uh, with the judge and everything. So uh, yeah, they got him a, they got him a cool new job and a cool new apartment. And then he uh, went back to uh, university and and now he's traveling the world and uh, he's. Uh, uh, becoming an anthropologist is pretty pretty cool hmm. wow getting gus busted can, for drugs can turn out really well mm. for you in places that are not the well, united actually, states actually, yes in, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, in the united states it still works um uh tim allen was busted for like 60 grams of cocaine or something um mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. Like he 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 got out or whatever, and then became like the biggest celebrity in America in like the late nineties. Yep. Yeah, but I don't think the the justice system had anything oh, to see. do with that um, at all. Yeah. Yeah. Doubt it. They they didn't play any hand in helping him. You've clearly got do got that, this this probably. funny sense of humor. You should just go out on stage and give it a go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say we'll book you some yeah, gigs. Yeah. We'll we'll give you a list of open mics. We'll, we'll we'll give you a court appointed manager. Oh, uh, <laughs> but it reminds me of okay, it rem reminds me of some some dude that I heard about, um, uh, uh, and I think he he murdered some some woman and then he became a, a comedian. 
Hmm. Um, what? <laughs> Uh, and and he, he 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 was fast in a car at some point. There was always jokes about him going fast in a car, uh, and and I think yeah I think he murdered some broad and then he became a, a comedian and uh, got a lot of money, um, and and now he's kind of now he's kind of an of an of a uh, popular icon. I know, uh, and he's got a uh, he's got the Funko Pop and everything. Um, uh, I'd heard that William Shatner had killed his wife. He had wow. a he had a beverage. Na- I, I remember he had the beverage name that was funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, he had a he had a name American like a soft drink, like Coca Cola something. Pepsi, Pepsi. Comedian, comedian who murdered his wife and then got famous. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about at all. Oh, Jay Simpson. Oh yeah, another comedian. Oh. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. Yeah, he, Simpson. Yeah, he, a, he, he did what? some acting, but He's he was a like a footballer. Oh, really? Yeah, Amer- American football. Yeah, it, it's it's possible that you yeah. like that he became famous overseas through like um, the Naked Gun or whatever. I don't know what that is. Oh, but, it's uh, a it's a s- movie series um, parody of like yeah, he, he shows. Killed- oh. Yeah, he killed his wife and then he got um, uh, acquitted for it. That's actually w- one of the reasons the Kardashians are famous yeah. because their dad was his lawyer that oh. got him off of of the charges. But yeah, he kind of fell into obscurity after that because he just kind of wanted to lay low. Oh, really? He ended I, up writing. I, he ended. He ended up writing a book called "If I Did It." Hmm. <laughs> and, about but, how he would have he would have murdered his wife if he had. <laughs> Yeah, and, and didn't he become a race car driver? People were no, he ran from the cops. Going fast. He ran from the cops. He ran, yeah, he, yeah, he out. Ah, oh, that makes. Yeah, he outran the cops that, in a sports car. That makes sense, just like in that Seinfeld episode with Kramer, mm-hmm. and th- that guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So mostly he's laid low, and then he committed a few more crimes. He was he was charged with uh, armed robbery and kidnapping. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know. So he's 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 gotten into some some other stuff, but not not any any media things ever since. But yeah, he was he was famous in the media before killing his wife. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, Nelson, what uh, what crime would you want to commit if you could get away with any crime for just for being a great artist? Uh, I don't think I'll ever be a great artist. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's a very powerful, wishful thinking. But if I if I could get away with any crime, I don't know. I already got away with so much stuff during my life. <laughs> I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't really feel like... Are, are you willing to admit any on this podcast while we're recording? I mean, I could always say that I was lying, but uh, I... <laughs> if you did it. I've, <laughs> I've... I've... Have you killed anyone? Not that I know of, no. Okay. All right. So that's something I have, I've never done. Uh, at mm-hmm. least not to my knowledge. You're still young. There's still time. Oh, don't flatter me. I'm not young anymore. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> What are you like forty eight? Soon, uh, <laughs> forty eight is just around the corner. Time to murder somebody oh. and get out of my system. <laughs> no, but midlife but, yeah, crisis. I'm, I'm trying to, th- I'm trying to think, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a cool crime. Um, cool crime. That would some some yeah something that would be you know something that would be uh, worth doing and and getting away with well and, you've uh, got like a whole lot of I've young french models with loose laws around age of consent you could always you mm-hmm. could always uh buy a little private island and then uh mm-hmm. <laughs> hire a whole lot of models what do you think yes but yeah. yes but since there is no statutory rape law in front it would not be a crime oh, so you could just do it you could, just, you, could, you could have sex with a 15 year old French model today oh uh, yeah I mean if, <laughs> with if, no consequences if she was if she was 15 it would be 100% legal yeah because it's above the age of consent anyway so uh, um, would you feel weird though I mean ex- 
I don't know. Okay, I had right. sex the first the first time I had sex. I was sixteen and yeah, it same. went really well. Everything <laughs> was fine. I know a lot of I know a lot of people who had their first sexual experience. As f- um, most people I know had their first sexual experience. I think at uh, thirteen years old. I think that's the wow. damn. the median or the mode. I think. Um, I never remember the difference between the median and the mode. I think that's the mode. That's the number that that comes up most frequently. That's the mode. Okay. okay. So uh, yeah. when I asked my, my friends and acquaintances, and I mean not acquaintances, but people who are who I was like more or less <laughs> close to and intimate, I think the the number that came the most often uh, was 13 or 14 uh, so wow. um, probably both so uh, yeah uh, by uh, I mean I know I know people who started late like uh, 18 or 19 but they're pretty rare uh, at least in my uh, surroundings uh, so um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, myself at 16 I'm kind of a late bloomer by uh appearing uh, standards so I, I would I feel with because when I was 16 I had sex with a 18 year old girl it was not a huge gap we had one year and a half of difference that was not you mm-hmm. know that was not huge yeah. though when I when I was 19 years old I had sex with a girl that was 28 and it, it also went really well it was, uh, was pretty great <laughs> uh, oh no but um, so that's nine years of that nine years of difference uh, um, I've, um, I was 21 and I went out to this like dance night thing and a 45 year old woman uh, like mm-hmm. slapped me on the ass and was like <laughs> was like mm-hmm. just really forward and I, I was just sort of drunk enough to go like well like whatever <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah, yeah 20, 20 24 years difference there you go. Yeah. I didn't feel like she took advantage yeah, of me. It works. To be honest, like I thought it was fine. <laughs> it was You were you were super it was down. Weird. I I'm not as confident as Nelson about how well it went, but uh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I when I was when I was a youngster, I went for significantly older guys. Um, but the older I get, the more the more I want to date people the same yeah, age yeah, as me. Yeah. And I probably probably as I get even older, then I'll start going for younger guys. Nice. It's gonna nice. like yeah, yeah, it's gonna gonna go from older to to middle to like to way to way young. So yeah, who you know. I, I could be there going to France <laughs> trying to get the 15 year olds at some point that could be me I, I don't know I don't know if it would work because uh, you're a foreigner but you know uh, probably uh, oh so foreigners can't come and exploit uh, your your youth for sexual purposes. I don't know how the laws work I'm not an expert in law and even less than sex on the, yeah, yeah, it's touch Tory side. <laughs> the uh, the only thing, yeah. the only laws I know quite a lot about is copyright law because of my occupation. Uh, but everything that's regarding to crimes and murders and rape, all that, I'm not an expert. I just know the basics. So, um, mm-hmm. oh, that would be an awesome crime: stealing patents from like big corporations and using them to build my own shit yeah. and you know all these China. all mm. these yeah all these companies like yeah. Google and Apple and Samsung were hoarding patents and don't even use them I would take patents from them and I would build an empire of technology and shit uh, uh, that, that, that would probably be the best crime to get away with because mm. And it's and it's all because people love your memes just that much. Yeah, they'll they'll let you do anything. I would like, make oh, them, there's the meme, there's yeah. there's Chad Mahito just at it again, <laughs> just stealing those patents and building his empire. Yeah, yeah, it was, I would, it was all their patents on uh, phones and AI and robots and all that shit. And I would make a, a robot that makes memes and uh, you know you, you talk and. You know, an app that when you talk to your phone, it translates in, into memes. Your speech it that, makes that memes. That should already be uh, a thing. Ra- That's randomly generated by what you're saying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like it just and, uh, picks a random, it, yeah. like it Google searches for an image that's relevant to the, the meme you just made, puts text yeah. above and below it, like, bam. 
Mm-hmm. And if you don't give it bottom yeah, text, I mean, it just yeah. says bottom text, and that yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> that probably already uh, exists because that's kind of a, a basic. I was just thinking of something more, uh, you know, complex because uh, if yeah, you have all yeah, the, yeah. the uh, if you have all the power of because that we could probably make this, and I don't know how to code, but no, I think no, that no. with what. We, with one week of learning basic uh, code thing, uh, three of us could could build this app and make zero money because no one would be interested. But we could sell it to uh, Riz. <laughs> she posts about five thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would it would it be interested in buying it? I mean, she posts about as kind of. Uh, Lately, it's uh, people don't talk about it anymore. It's a little sad, but it's kind of like it's fallen out of fashion. Uh, it's 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 a bit weird, but um, people are kind of ignoring it lately. Is shit post spot a has been now? What? Maybe maybe we need we need to create this technology to make shit post bot more consistently innovative and mm. just like making more interesting shit posts. You know what we we should do. Uh, Kill shit posting. <laughs> oh yeah, you were asking us how we felt about the word shit posting. What yes. was what was your reason behind that? Uh, my reason is that I hate this word, and I've hated it for a really long time. And I thought I would get used to it, but the more I see it, the more I hate it. The more I want it to disappear or get replaced by something else. And okay. also, as we said in. A previous episode I don't know if you've listened to it I released it like a, a week ago uh, episode 14 of uh, Mohi Talk I know we're re- releasing episode 19 but I'm really slow at editing so um, mm-hmm. as we said shitpost bot is not a shitpost bot it's a meme bot it uh, mm-hmm. it, it combines memes basically in a, in a meme style it's not really shitposting anything uh, in the beginning and it was the case for years sheet posting was only text you were writing sentences that was kind of offbeat funny or stuff like this and it's only recently has started to mean like images and videos and stuff like that for a really long time mm-hmm. sheet posting was only you typing a weird stream of consciousness thought straight from your mind like when it's 2 a.m. you can't sleep you have this uh, mm-hmm. thought that is formed into your mind it's kind of like a tweet you know uh, it's a really short sentences it's a it's not really weird it's not really random but it's a bit offbeat and you feel that some people would connect to it maybe on an on an ironic level or maybe with a lot of layers of irony so you type that into Facebook into Tumblr into uh, Twitter and into whatever and and it's uh, it's a thing that's generated that started to be uh, passed around. You know, I think what really popularized this, at least among the uh, elite of extremely online people, is this. <laughs> is this uh, what? You know, it's it's a good just the idea term. of there being just Thanks. just an idea of there being an elite when it comes to I mean the meme community. But carry on. Tumblr employs meme librarians that wow. are paid, paid really uh, a nice salary just to document and catalog memes. So, uh, nice. so yes, I believe there is an elite of extremely online people who are really mm-hmm. into meme culture and internet things. And um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry. I think the whole shitposting... Uh, craze was sparked into existence and uh, then started like rolling like I don't know how to say in English but uh, in French we say that's uh, the snowball effect that uh, mm-hmm. you know I don't know if you was uh, yeah we have that you have that too nice snowball effect oh yeah. mm-hmm. it's the same expression nice we okay, don't so. have yeah. snow in Australia so I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Uh, even, even when you go all the way on top of the Ayers Rock. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. okay. Um, that's an interesting question. I don't think so. It's not really. It's a, it's a hill, basically. We call Australia, it Uluru, though. I, I j- Uluru is the I'm just realizing. Name. Oh, yeah. 
I'm, I'm re- <laughs> so you have to go all the way down to New Zealand to find snow? All the way down? It's east and it's not down. And it's really, really far away. People don't realize, but it's like six hours of plane away from Australia. Yeah, I went there recently. What, what I'm also realizing when I'm thinking about it is that Australia does not have mountains, does it? We've got um, the Great Dividing Range that goes from Queensland the along, the, along the east. Range. You will, will they they <laughs> couldn't get from the the eastern coast towards the mainland because of the density of the mountains uh, hmm. that just like okay. go down the the eastern border essentially. Um, but yeah, so there is snow. It's just that I've never seen it. I've never been there to the uh, to the the mountains. Well, let me tell mm-hmm. you, you are missing absolutely nothing. Snow is absolute Wet and bullshit. Cold. It's, it is the most overrated thing in the world. At least the most overrated natural phenomenon in the world. It sucks. <laughs> I, it's, it sucks so bad. It's cold. It makes your body ache all over. It makes your nose feel like it's going to fucking fall off your face. And it's wet. Yeah. And it's dirty. And then when you try to walk into it, it's slow. It's tedious. And then you slip and fall. It's, the, it's such bullshit. It's and it hurts. Such Snowballs hurt. Fucking don't they? bullshit. Snowballs like feel uh, like rocks. It depends on if they're hard, hard packed or soft, ah. soft packed. There's 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 different types of snowballs based on different types of snow. I I had a lot of snow where I grew up. It wasn't dirty snow. It was very clean mm. snow because it was in the country. And uh, I have a very um, favorable romantic view of of nice. snow. I think snow is lovely. And Nelson is. Um, <laughs> wrong or the way that snow either he's wrong or the way that snow like gets all nasty in the streets of Paris um, (laughs) makes his opinion valid but I don't have that kind of snow experience Uh, at all I'm I'm gonna be honest with you I already hated snow when I lived in the countryside and it was uh kind of not as dirty but still because you you walk in it you just don't just watch it sure if you watch it through a window then it's kind of pretty sure and to be fair uh with snow i had a lot of fun playing with the snowballs when i played breath of the wild on the nintendo switch yeah that was a so you know fake snow like in video games and movies digital snow is pretty cool but real snow in real life sucks so bad. I I hate it. Okay. I love snow angels making snowmen <laughs> do people, sledding down hills. Do people really do snow angels in real life? Because I've seen it in movies. Yeah, but I do it. Wow. I I make a lot of snow angels. Yeah, I've made a lot of snow angels. I have. Do you know what I've done? <laughs> I've gone to a wood fired. I've gone to a wood fired wood fired sauna mm-hmm. um, with a bunch of hippies, and then we're all naked in the sauna, and then we get out and then we roll around in the snow, and then get back wow. in the sauna and just keep doing that oh, for yeah. hours and hours and hours. The three hundred challenge. It's wonderful. The what? The three hundred challenge. Is that the thing? I think it's just being a hippie. That's that's the other word Sounds for it. Fun. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard it. Yeah. I've heard it be, being called the three hundred challenge. Uh, that's very popular in America, uh, and it's called three hundred because it's the sauna is at two hundred Fahrenheit and the snow is at minus hundred, something like that. So you you, okay. you travel three hundred Fahrenheit uh, in a in a jiffy. Uh, and yeah. I heard it was very popular in uh, in the USA. But the Snow Angels, I thought it was an invention by Hollywood movies. And I did not know that people did that in real life. I'm surprised. You should go out and find a clean patch of snow this winter and fucking try it and see. You know? Give it a chance. I don't. Just give it a chance. I don't really care if the snow is clean or dirty. Because even if it's clean, it's still going to be extremely cold and wet and horrible to the touch. And <laughs> feeling very bad and I've, I've well you don't and have to be naked ev- evil you don't have any fluffy snow Fl- there's fluffy snow somewhere I mean anywhere you have snow you're gonna have, you're gonna find some patches of fluffy snow don't don't try it in wet snow do it in fluffy snow I mean as soon as you're gonna lay into it it's gonna not be fluffy anymore it it, okay. it turns to liquid uh, cause you know your your body is hot so 
Maybe maybe I French don't know. smell I, is I feel like when you when you when you compress it, <laughs> it it liquefies basically. That's why that's why when you walk on it too many times, it becomes ice and then it's slippery. I don't I don't know. Like my my experience with snow is that like it can stay pretty puffy if you're you you're all packed in your big snuggly puffer jacket and your big puffy snow pants and then when you when you throw down on the snow it still stays pretty pretty fluffy and powdery while you're while you're making your little snow angels. It's it takes pretty like warm wet snow for it to just like turn to water immediately. I uh, I heard it was like that in uh in in some very high mountains, but uh, I don't think it's like that in the normal regions. There's like a World War Two yeah. joke here. I think um, something about <laughs> French it. snow just like giving into pressure immediately and surrendering and, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> turning to liquid. American yeah. snow okay. being patriotic and just like sticking together, <laughs> holding yeah, up. Yeah, just just like and uh, just Australian snow. Stubborn. Australian snow losing a war against emus. Australian snow just not existing. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it, it, it lost the war against emus. Ah, oh, true, 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 true. So yeah, why were we talking oh. about this? Because there was <laughs> this kind of arc. This kind of story arc, and we were like rebounding on each other's. Uh, hmm. We were talking about. Oh yes, because we we're talking about the snowball effect. Because I brought, <laughs> snowball I brought, I brought that expression. Do you know what snow is? First of all, I, I'm a total derailer. So, no, that was my fault. More about so, the snowball. So if you don't know what it, snow is, just. Just go on Wikipedia, I suppose, yeah, yeah. or just ignore it. Just ignore it because it's it's bullshit. It's just a thing that is that is white and cold and and We've liquid been down and this that path. It's okay. Ruin your life. Snow is basically fake. But anyway, what about the snowfall snowball effect? Yes, I think shit posting, a lot of shit posting, and a lot of the popularity and and the start of the craze of shit posting started was sparked was kind of. Yeah, started by this Twitter account that was super popular uh, before Twitter became shit. So it was uh, at the at the heyday, at the, the golden days of Twitter, so around 2010. And this was, there was this account called Horse Ebooks, and in my opinion, I remember Horse Ebooks. That's yeah, where it all that that's great. where it all started. It was this kind of weird experiment run by some journalists Jews whatever and um, <laughs> <laughs> there's the other things Jews do is uh, start shit posting accounts mm-hmm. but yeah it started anyway uh, posting random sentences from random ebooks and um, a lot of times it was just nonsensical and, and just random but sometimes there was this b- brilliant moments like uh, at some uh, it was just like oh, uh, like five words at a time you know or, or uh, even less or uh, but it was not long stuff because it was tweets and it was just this, this short uh, excerpts from random ebooks and um, one of them was everything happens so much and that's that that became a meme and that started a cult and that <laughs> kick started weird twitter uh, uh that, that became huge soon after there was uh this guy that was really famous on the something awful forums called gigantic drill who started a twitter account was just called drill d-r-i-l and and started shit posting in the same oh, style yeah, as he's, like, looks. he's big he, he's he's famous he's still huge uh and uh and that was at this time that there was a, a thing that really started there was uh, also at this time that the tumblr uh garfield minus garfield yeah. was started mm. it was just a small it was just a small tumblr blog at, at first really obscure but also snowballed uh and and that that's when really shit posting started becoming from a really obscure tiny thing into the underground not not mainstream yet but you know the, the solid underground stuff twitter and tumblr is where it really started and then 
uh, on Tumblr, people did these um, things at night when they were like they had insomnia or stuff like this, or they had this anxiety that were jerk uh, off, you know, tur turning. <laughs> Basically, yes, but <laughs> with the mind. Ah, basically, that to jerk off of the brain. <laughs> yes, and they called it, and that that gave these weird sentences that was kind of fake, deep, but kind of random at the same time. And and most of them were trash, but there was some nuggets of brilliance uh, inside, and it was called night blogging. Nice. So uh, that mm. that kind of became big on Tumblr, this night blogging thing, and um, so like sleepy and thoughts. Then, yes, and then this night blogging thing, uh, there was an, another thing that started alongside it called GPOY. Uh, GPOY stood for gratuitous picture of yourself. It's a picture that is not a selfie, but that is a picture that represents how you feel inside, you know? Mm. And uh, it could be a sad cat, it could be a, ch a chair that was broken, or uh, it could be a, 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 a fruit, it could be anything. If this picture expressed how you felt inside in a way that was beyond words and purely visual communication, it was called GPOY for a gratuitous picture of yourself mm. and then of course happened what always happened on the internet for the past 15 years reddit found this and put its grubby hands all over it and changed the name <laughs> because that's what reddit always does they find an obscure thing they give it a name that is slightly better and then it becomes mainstream so they took night blogging and they renamed it shitposting ah. and they uh, and they took mm. gpoy and they renamed it selfies of the soul and then they re <laughs> they, they re renamed it me irl um and, and that become this huge thing on, on reddit called me irl where you could post mm -hmm. a, a picture that represents who you are inside but i was just basically completely stolen from the gpoy on tumblr that was popular uh, almost 10 years ago and uh and it was kind of the same movement like the, the gpoy and the night blogging kind of went along with it it was this kind of weird stream of consciousness uh sentences or or images or stuff that expresses things beyond the classic forms of expression that is kind of straight from your mind straight from <laughs> your soul as some people would say um uh, and uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, don't point fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically, uh, basically, shit post bot was never really a shit post bot. It was at first uh, um, a bot. Uh, we could have called it collage bot uh, because it's it's collage. It didn't really yeah. generate any text and at the, at the beginning and for many many years shit posting was you know this night blogging on tumblr these weird twitter with drill any sentences the horsey books and uh, and and the the random uh, pieces of ebooks and it was text 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 and then it became around 2014 pretty much uh, a blanket word for a bunch of different things memes random shit and etc and i've always hated this word i've always hated it um well, even if do you, you know, have any alternatives what do you have you thought of any alternatives that you like uh yes i mean i've tried i have not found anything satisfactory so far but uh, at first, the term shitposting meant something else. Shitposting yeah, yeah. is, it started in the era of the message boards and the news groups in the, the, the early 90s when people had a, 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 a thread about a specific topic and, and some, someone made like an off topic remark or a joke or an insult or anything that did not contribute to the discussion. Mm. or try to, you know, answer that. Because 
the, the threads was, were like, uh, yeah, which fi Final Fantasy is the best? Uh, and uh, someone would say, oh, it's, uh, it's probably not Crash Bandicoot. <coughs> That's a shit post. It's, it does not answer the... Because a lot of message boards were like for help. Like, oh, uh, my uh, my computer is doing this weird noise. Can you help? Uh, uh, and some dude would, would be uh, like, well, put your dick out of it, maybe. And, yeah, uh, yeah, That's yeah, a shit post. Yeah. It, it's not helpful. It's off topic. And uh, it's, it's, funny, uh, it's a post that isn't... Yeah. It, but it was not always funny. It could be like an insult. Yeah. It could be like a, a, a someone who didn't really read the post and answered like, you know, something not really related, not really relevant. And it was basically a, a useless post that did not contribute to the conversation. And um, well, that that somehow got... Uh, yeah, and, and people at, at some point did it for fun. But... N not all of it was was fun, and the term shit posting did not really. Um, it, it got morphed, and it got hastily morphed. I, I've I've seen by, it used on you know four chan quite a lot. Do you know? Do you think like? Do you think they appropriated it at some point, or like? Vibe check. <laughs> Um, I feel like they've always I, just I, used it to refer to just any like most posts. Um, um, I don't know. Well, I was on 4chan for a long time, and shit posting was not a word that was used there. And then I left for a few years, and when I came back, it was all over the place. Yeah. So I don't know how and when it happened. Yeah. I think it's happened really quick but um, 4chan is a very uh, despite what many people would say or believe about it 4chan is an intensely neutral place uh, they don't really judge anything they don't really have any moral compass they don't really have any convictions or values they will use what comes and when it comes mm. and um you know when uh, when um, there was this shift from desktop PCs to smartphones, from from uh, you know browsers to apps, 4chan was the first to jump the shark and completely do it. When Bitcoin when Bitcoin appeared, you almost instantly you could you could use bitcoin on 4chan mm. uh, to to like uh, you know uh, support the site or or buy stuff you know stuff like that and um, it's it's really a neutral place there um, there are people of all opinions but in the in the melting pot of what 4chan is it is very uh, unbiased about pretty much everything that's why it's such a great place that's why I love it so much they don't really have any bias they don't really have any opinion it's a very very great place very very neutral remind the it's we're reminded of the the anonymous before the vendetta mask the anonymous yeah. like uh, in in a gray suit without and without a face that's Mm -hmm. uh, that's really 4chan that's really what's beautiful about 4chan uh, it's um, it's um, uh, you don't have this word in English um, but we have a we have a word in French uh, and um, to to uh, to 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 um, tell about this uh, this uh, and it's kind of like um, it's ki it's kind of like a work ethic but it's uh, it's not exactly this um and um, deontology um, would be that word, and it's like yeah, it's very it's very unbiased, very neutral. So I would not be surprised if the word shit posting was adopted in a day. Uh, yeah. And you yeah. know, people people will rant about it. People will say, ah, oh, don't say that. Uh, uh, if you if you use the word shit posting, you're just a, a new fag and uh, yeah. you know nothing about memes. People will say that, but we'll still use it. 
and the majority will adopt the thing oh, real yeah. quick. Well, if someone and, gets uh, pissed off by it, they'll use it even more because they enjoy <coughs> pissing each other yeah. off like more than anything. It yeah, seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So uh, that's why they're, uh, you know, they're uh, they're never really swaying one way or another, except that time when they all relied together against Scientology. Um, but uh, you know, as a general rule, they they don't really give a shit, and they don't really they don't really take sides, and that's why it's so great about it, uh, about the, the the whole site and the, the whole community. They do not take sides. There is um, it's probably a reaction against a lot of stuff that happened after uh, September two thousand and one. Um, September 11th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the the the, the planes, <laughs> the planes that get, went into the towers in uh, in um, um, California or whatever. Uh, USA thing. What? And the, it was the. Th- it was New York. It was but, yeah. yeah. It was when I was a kid. There was this thing in the USA and people uh, people th- oh, say. I, re- I remember it very well. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, uh, yeah. Uh, it was a whole. It was a whole fucking thing here. Uh, yeah. I, I remember. Uh, I remember pretty well because I was in um how do you say in english 11th grade uh high, high school high, yes and um mm-hmm. and so we were watching this and um like it was in the middle of the afternoon when it happened and people were, were thinking it was a movie uh, people did not realize it was it was real and then uh the next day uh we had um we had a history class uh so uh so first thing in the morning so um the the history teacher asked us um do, do you want to do you if if he, um, you know if we wanted him to uh, talk about what happened or uh just uh, do the class like every day and so um people voted for a uh, Let's talk about this, and so he explained the situation. Uh, you know uh, how uh, how the CIA created Al Qaeda, which uh, <laughs> fa- finally came to bite them back in the ass. And uh, uh, you know um, how is it? It's, it's stunning that this kind of thing did not happen. Well, it's, Australia and, was and under the, like, the the propaganda narrative then. For sure. Oh, really? But yeah, I don't remember uh, hearing here. about the CIA or anything like. Um, oh really? I just oh, remember. That's crazy. I just remember coming home from school and the, I went to watch the after-school shows on TV, and it was all just news channels. And um, and then I got up the next morning to watch early morning like Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and stuff, and it was still mm-hmm. just footage of the towers. Like, so that's <laughs> oh, that's when that's I realized. That's, that's when I realized like okay, some like they want me to care about this a lot. I'll uh, I'll think about mm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the United States called Australia. Basically, we're just like, like, yo, yeah, no, uh, but do not, do not fucking let them think about anything else <laughs> than than this than this terror yeah. attack. They're not allowed to watch TV. Yeah, just don't yeah, let yeah, them. Yeah. Don't Kids let can't them. watch Pokemon anymore yeah. until they're afraid of Al Qaeda. <laughs> until we catch, until we catch <laughs> those terrorists. Until the nuclear <laughs> weapons are seized. Yeah, N- yeah. Well, yeah, the weapons are mapped. We- weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, well. That's that's the the era. Uh, that's the era. That's basically when I started getting into this whole internet thing. Um, it was in two thousand and one. Because of because of nine eleven. No coincidence. <laughs> uh, because it w- okay. Because the internet because the internet was getting big at the time and uh, and it was not only getting big and this whole cultural phenomenon it was also getting affordable. So uh, so I got my first internet connection in uh, Christmas of uh, ninety nine. No no. Mm-hmm. Uh, the year to get way to get, so uh, not not long before, and uh, I was still you know learning, spending most of my time on video game message boards talking about Max Payne and uh, cool yeah. stuff like this, and uh, you know Tom Raider, all all these games that I was really into at the time. Max I was Payne rocks. Such a, I was I was a yeah. hu- especially a huge Half Life fan, still am basically, and uh, so uh, we were talking about all this, and so I spent most of my time on video game message boards. I did not start to get into anything else before the before 2002, I think. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was kind of this big thing um, 
for for a little while, uh, for a few hours. Uh, the next morning, there was Pokemon on TV, like always, of course, and then there was all these um, except during nine eleven. These, uh, yeah, yeah, me. yeah, and there was there was kind of a, there was there was the whole week. <laughs> there was kind of a, no morning cartoons. I actually became more Damn. frustrated at the the terrorists because they they ruined my cartoons. <laughs> well, I, like I'm, I was I was younger and also just distant from the situation, so like I didn't feel uh, it's not even in your country. Yeah, it's ridiculous yeah. that they would make that would, they would make your TVs run with twenty four oh, yeah, hours. It was weird. It was, it was almost it. like that was the day twenty four hour news stuff just like existed in Australia. It was weird. Huh. Yeah, because of nine yeah. eleven. Yeah. yeah, I I was uh, around that. Yeah, in two thousand one, I was on Neopets. Nice. That was my big oh. uh, internet involvement. I, I had, dabbled. My mom got really into Neopets. You you dabbled yeah. in Neopets. My mom got really into Neopets. She created a whole bunch of different accounts um, so that she could earn things like on one account Damn. and then trade it with the other account. It's got it got really weird. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what that had to do with the terrorists, but I feel like there's got to be some kind of <laughs> some kind of connection there. I wish I took better journals at the time. It's, a, but it's yeah. fun learning who people um, were during 9-11. Just like that little snapshot in your life. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I, I remember uh, there was uh, like uh, Innocent. tennis on, 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 on TV and uh, uh, one channel had uh, this uh, um, interrupted the, the tennis to, uh, to show us the plane getting into the towers and then went back to, to uh, the tennis match. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the French reaction. Uh, t- tennis is big here. It's a s- serious <laughs> business. And like for real, yeah. Especially, no, that, 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 I'm sure that would be like if the if um like the Super Bowl was playing and we had a terrorist attack in the middle of the Super Bowl, they they'd probably just keep you for know sure. covering the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, especially on the other side of the world. But um, yeah, mm-hmm. I remember because I was getting somewhere with that, and I was going to tie mm-hmm. the tie the knot with the four chan thing. So uh, mm-hmm. I remember at this time. Um, there was a a, a big um, sentiment of two opposing forces uh, the 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 people who took sides and the ones who didn't want to because when um, September 11 happened uh, I remember the the pretty much the dominant uh, sentiment all around uh, all around me and especially since I was like in high school so we were all like kind of edgy and stuff like this and um, so uh, it, it was kind of people were kind of giddy you know a lot of people were like finally the Americans are uh-huh. getting what they deserve finally mm-hmm. all their shit comes is coming back to bite them in the ass finally all, this, all that CEA bullshit that they're manipulating uh, things around the world uh, and and you know, uh, um, killing leaders and mm. putting theirs in place with like uh, Pinochet and and all that shit that they've done. Um, finally, people are, are are fighting back against them, and it, a lot of people are like, "Yeah, that's just the start. In five years, USA gone. Uh, <laughs> finally, we're getting finally we're getting rid of that shit." Uh, so so uh, so there was a lot of people uh, doing uh, saying things like like this uh, all around me and all around the internet also because it's, the internet was kind of like the wild west at the time there was no rules there was no censorship people just uh, mm-hmm. kept saying whatever you know went through their minds mm. so um there yeah. was this like like this big sentiment of uh of uh, trolling ah, trolling uh, fi- fi- yeah yeah no, no. yeah death to america death to america like whatever not really death to yeah. america no more like uh well uh finally uh they uh, got a taste of their own medicine and uh they really mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, there, there, there have been uh, like uh, jumping around, uh, uh, pissing in uh, everyone's uh, chimneys, and now they've fallen <laughs> off the roof, and uh, and you know, they, they really, um, how do you say in English? Uh, it's not they shot themselves like in the foot. It's not, yeah, karma, karma came back. Yeah, around. exactly. It was like a, a lot of you know, uh, oh, 
you know, they created and and everyone knew. Sure. And all the newspapers were like, oh, oh you know, uh, this uh, Bin Laden pe- per person that was created by the CIA to fight against the communists in Afghanistan, uh, well, uh, it came back to bite them in the ass. Like they created him and it came back. I remember this. Um, I remember this cover of one of the the big newspaper in France when they they uh, uh, push uh, uh, Bin Bin Laden and he was like kind of um, uh, um, operated. Uh, mechanic um, puppet you know and he he went and done a, a U-turn and went back to the USA and uh, like Uncle Sam had pushed him and, and he came back uh, to explode in his face uh, yeah. that was the dominant sentiment that was like uh, oh yeah but basically they did this to themselves and uh, mm-hmm. a lot of people were shocked that uh, there was such a big reaction at, considering that only 3,000 people died you know like com- compared to a war right. pe- all, people were like oh these Americans they really have no shame uh, all this all this thing only 300 only 30,000 people died that's nothing compared to a war that's nothing compared to uh, what's happening in the world and uh, they really mm-hmm. they, 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 they are crying and trying to do their che- this tear her stuff while well, there's uh, almost nothing happened to them that's such a small thing that one terrorist attack uh, they, they deserve so much more they never had a a a war on their land and and uh, so uh that you know the the overreaction of the usa over which was like to be fair just one small terrorist attack and much much uh they really had it uh they really um, had it coming um so yeah, that that's the thing. They they really really had it coming. That is the most vicious roast of nine eleven I've heard. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I I agree with that, you. I'm that not, was not, not a roast. That was that. A, the, the dominant sentiment, uh, and yeah. we were not being like v- vicious about it. We were like shocked, like uh, we had so many wars fought on our soil, oh, yeah, and they yeah, had yeah. nothing. Uh, and they they keep crying about this one-time terrorist attack where only three thousand people died compared to a war. That's nothing, com- and their their history is so short, and their yeah, country is built on slavery, yeah. and, and, and their and their whole country is mm. is built on the slavery of the black people and and on the the genocide yeah. of the Native Americans. And so, uh, h- how mm. dare they uh, complain where they are all got all this blood on their hands mm. and it's it's like uh, they keep assassinating people, and it's like this mosquito bite on their on their uh, hand, and, and, then, and they're all like and then uh, genocide and the mosquitoes, uh, in, yeah. yeah, in retaliation or whatever. And so yeah, we're still we're still we're still uh, there in the middle of the genocide of the mosquitoes, yeah. more yeah. or less. Uh, yeah, and so uh, when they asked uh, when they asked us to go to war with them, uh, in a, uh, I don't remember if it was, if our I was Afghanistan. Yeah, it was Afghanistan. Yeah. Uh, when, yeah. w- w- it was really shocking like uh, people really saw it as another reaction as something completely illegitimate mm-hmm. uh, plus many people did not believe in that all that Colin Powell weapons of mass destruction bullshit we also threw it uh, we're not fools so uh, and the, the mere fact that people got fooled by this bullshit was mind blowing to most of us so of course we were all against uh, the, the, the war and um, George W. Bush uh, had this big thing that uh, either you're with us or you're against us. And I think that shaped a, a, a huge generation of people who didn't want to be for or against anyone who wanted to be uh, you know unbiased not left wing right. it, it, it really created this huge movement uh, in Europe and also on the internet of people who did not mm-hmm. want to be left wing or right wing who did not want to be pro American or anti American who did want who did not want to be uh, a pro religion or pro atheism uh, people who like pride uh, started to pride themselves on being neutral on being unbiased on being you know above it all and and, um, mm-hmm. you know, because this, um, this thing uh, uh, that Bush said, um, either you're with us or against us, we all saw it as, the, as a caveman thing or a, that what an, a nape would say. You know, like a tr- it's very manipulative. Yeah, and, it, and, it and it's very tribal. It's, a, it's caveman shit. You don't say that if you are civilized. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's primitive. And yeah. I think uh, 4chan gained a lot 
of popularity and traction around this whole sentiment that yeah. started af after 9-11 and the war in Afghanistan of we don't want that. to be yeah we don't want to be mm -hmm. for you and we don't want to be against you we don't give a shit about you we're doing our own thing and that's what yeah. propelled it because people were mm -hmm. yearning for this oh. it was a huge breath of fresh air people, of people who did not want to take sides people got especially sensitive about the topic i believe so um that w w we created that rebellious uh space where they could make like 9-11 gifs and like edit scenes from movies that end with the towers being hit and like people people wanted to make jokes about that mm -hmm. kind of thing and it, and it was very sensitive and so you could do it anonymously on a on a forum where everyone else is making just as, as extremely offensive content as they could pretty much right that's what I think yeah. B was um, yeah and uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember everyone wanted to make jokes about it. I remember my favorite webcomic was called uh, Elf Tour. It has been deceased for a really long time, but in the early 2000s, it was huge uh, amongst the extremely online community. We all loved Elf Tour, best webcomic of all time. And like September the 12th. There was a, a, a this episode of the of the uh, comic about. Of course, 9-11. Um, and so uh, Elf Thor so the um, Elf Thor was the the hero of the of the comic, little orange elf. <laughs> and um, he, he saw the, the attacks uh, on on TV and so and so uh, and he saw George Bush saying uh, all that shit. So he said, Oh okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a, a AR fifteen and we're gonna go, go kill some Arabs. Um, that seems the, the fair thing to do. So uh, they um, they start to travel uh, to Arabia, uh, but on their way there, uh, there was a bunch of stuff that happened to them. And um, after a while, they um, they found someone who explained them that um, you, you should uh, really not kill Arabs because uh, they um, they are um, programming a lot of important software things, and uh, also um, they they keep. Uh, um, doing these terrorist attacks in Israel, and that's and that's very important because uh, it stops the advance of the Israeli disco music that is so awful. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Um, and so uh, Damn. so Elf Thor was like oh shit Israeli disco music I did not realize the Arabs was, were so important uh, <laughs> so uh, and so it was like um, so uh, is it is, is it okay to kill uh, Kentuckians and so the guy was like of course Kentuckians are worthless and so they they <laughs> go to Kentucky and shoot a bunch of inbred yokels and that was the, the thing and then was there was a follow up because a bunch of people wrote some saying wow that's awesome some Say, some were saying, "Oh, where's your American pride? Why? How can you do something like this?" Mm. And uh, so there was a follow-up comic uh, where she, he, uh, you know, uh, went to uh, Taco Bell and then uh, he shot on a uh, American flag in the in the toilet, <laughs> uh, and and and, and mm -hmm. then he made a bomb, Damn. and then he made a bomb with it and he threw it in a uh, um, American 9/11 uh, victims uh, oh people who wanted God. who. Damn. Yeah, you know who, who was whining about money and shit like that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a lot of escalation. And it was a lot of you know what we call at the time, uh, for lack of a better word, that was probably the ancestor of shit posting. Yeah, the lulls. L U L Z. Yeah, uh, the lulls. It was like lulls. It was like sadistic yeah. humor <laughs> no not really because a lot of it was like innocent it was just humor without borders yeah, humor yeah, without yeah, limits yeah. without frontiers and uh, some of it was like really innocent it was like a picture of cute cats saying uh, I can have cheeseburger that was the lulz uh, it was yeah, not yeah, offensive yeah, yeah. Okay. it yeah, was not bad. you know it, the lulz was like we want to laugh about everything 
and anything mm -hmm. at any time and if he want to make fun of a, a, a little puppy who fell in the mud then we're gonna make fun of this and if we want to make fun of rape victims and and people who are victims of war and the Falling holocaust the and that, we, we, <laughs> we will <laughs> we will make fun of that and uh we think that humor is the most sacred form of freedom of expression and we're going to use this to the full extent to entertain ourselves mm. we don't have a message it was it was without a message there was no political thing behind it it was really grassroots it was people from the left from the right from the center uh, extremists just and moderates and everyone was just one what It's kind of like this uh, comic that is uh, that is much famous now of this guy who just wants to grill, you know. Um, yeah. uh, oh, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. keep saying about Democrats this, Republicans that. I just want to grill, for God's sake. Yeah, We yeah. just want to grill my barbecue, and it was the same sentiment. We were overwhelmed by political messages on, on ev from every corner who who were trying to make us care about things that we didn't want to care about. And who want to try to uh, pigeonhole us into sides and 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 you know mm -hmm. just force us to take sides and that was these big reactions no we say no to sides we say no to wing cucks as we call them now <laughs> uh, we we say no to uh, to all this manipulation We, we don't we don't care we're not against you and we're not uh, uh, on your side we don't give a shit leave us be and that was this that was the reason why a shit posting and 4chan became so big because it was neutral it was not direct directed against or for anyone it, it yeah, did not, not take size it army. was it, exactly that's what i was gonna say not your personal mm -hmm. army it was not fighting for anyone just for the sake of fun and that was it we did not want to take sides and we did not take sides we just had fun in the most neutral gray and unbiased way possible and that was so good because we were in need of that at this time where uh, you know all the manipulation against terrorism and uh, all this bullshit you know well I, we really yeah and you were at the you were at the age where they would have would have wanted you to go fight you know like like people like at that time being in 11th grade when 9-11 happened you know you you would if if france had sent people sent people to war you would have known those people i was 14 so not really but uh oh i thought 11th grade is usually older here so same, i thought you were same. older but Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. I, okay. Irrelevant point. Carry on. Um, I, 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 I have a question. That, that was it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, well, earlier you were saying you you you're not a fan of the the Epstein meme. Um, do you, do you think it's related to the fact that you you like it when memes have no have no political agenda or just have no agenda other than for the lull? Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, so, okay, um, there is a political agenda going on behind certain memes, and I can see why they they're less attractive. Or, um, okay, yes and no. Uh, it's it's more complex than it sounds. This question, because um, I I don't think there is a political agenda b b behind the Epstein meme. I, I, at least I don't see it. I don't see who would benefit politically from the investigation uh, or, or Trump who would lose because so, um, yeah but yeah. I mean a lot of it's, well it's it's more it's not really the benefit of the people asking um, to question the suicide it's they're really trying to be against uh, anybody who is powerful yeah. it's kind of a classism yeah. thing yeah, really so. yeah, but, like, like we, okay. we, we, we don't let We don't want to let the rich get away yeah. with anything. So that's the political message. Okay, yeah. So that that's that's a pretty good message because if I understood correctly, a lot of Republicans and a lot of Democrats are implicated yeah. in in the whole kerfuffle. Yeah. So um. Yep. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not really cited. It's um, but 
But the enemy is the rich. It's it's the us, the general public, against these people that are rich enough to cover up yeah. their crimes. You know, there's a there's a few things that I would say I would say about it. First, I'd never hated this meme. It just seemed uninteresting and boring to me. I, oh, I yeah, did not yeah. loathe it. Yeah, I, it, it it's just you know I didn't see and I still don't see why it's funny. Uh, but I understand the, um, hmm, interesting. the, the way... The, I, I understand why people are rallying behind it. It's just... There's a, a, a few things that irk me about it, especially the fact that it's always shared by a lot of extremists from the... Especially the right, but also the left, and people who like conspiracy theories and uh, well, people yeah, who yeah. like the, the, the black peel. I hate the people who are black peeled. It's the most stupid peel of all their <laughs> the, all the peels. And... Um, uh, I, you probably saw what happened uh, today, where uh, uh, Alex Jones started a new TV show uh, about uh, this uh, Epstein character. Oh, cool! So uh, I might so, even uh, watch yeah. it. Yeah, oh, I might even watch the, that. Um, all the all the <laughs> all the extremists not are you know have a big boner for this Epstein um, thing. But I I don't know what they're trying to uh, achieve. I don't know what they hope gaining. Um, if it's just dissolution like, of power, um, but this guy was not even a politician. He was just like a, a bunker or something like that. Um, the powerful uh, people. He's a yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He, he's he's the the idea is that he's hyper wealthy and he can get away with anything. And he's hyper wealthy because he's a he was a billionaire money manager. He would he would make investments with the money of other very rich people. Yeah, he was a banker and help make them richer. He was a banker, a trader, uh, basically. Yeah. So well, yeah, not not a not a, not not really a banker so much, but yeah. So yeah. Anyway, the, the dissolu- he, just the, what? a very rich person that makes other people even richer. Dissolution of power. What does the mean it's um, vague say like the, once the thread truly unravels a lot of people have to go down that's just how I feel about it um, uh, and that's, that's I doubt power. it I doubt it uh, but you know I've it's more of a whack-a-mole thing. If, 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 if a few rich people lose their reputation because they're implicated with this pedophile, yeah. it's, it's not going to... It will make people feel like it's a victory mm. against um, the rich as a whole, but it won't be. It'll just, it'll just be a really um, like chewy narrative. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, of course, it will be underwhelming AF. I mean... And there won't. I mean, if if there were really like rape of minors and all that, there there there, there can be no no justice for that. I mean, the the, the evil has been done. Uh, and I, I don't know. Um, do people think that they are gonna like burn a few uh, people at the stake, like in p- yeah, public place, and that will deter everyone else to do it? What what will happen is that people will be even more sneaky and hidey about it and they will learn to better cover their tracks uh, that's all that's gonna happen if that thing goes further the the rich powerful people uh, who are into this whole pedophilia ring thing they're, they're just gonna learn to be more uh, stealthy and that's it I don't I yeah basically I fail, that's all we can do I, fa- <laughs> I fail to see how anything else can, can come of this do, do people think that uh, people will like realize that rape is wrong and stop doing it ah, because yeah. this dude I mean that's so weird what, what are people expecting that's their fantasy yeah <laughs> that's their fantasy is that is that everybody's gonna change their mind they're gonna be like you know what I feel like a real asshole for holding on to all these billions of dollars while you're struggling to make rent I'm just gonna you know spread it all out and give everybody <laughs> in the world 50 cents and so you'll all be 50 you know, everybody on the planet will be 50 cents richer because I spread out spread out my billions you're welcome and they'll uh, become monks and go move to uh, the top of a mountain and just meditate and eat rice for the rest of their life. That's that's what some people are legitimately hoping will happen to all these evil, evil billionaires. That sounds good. I mean, sure. Oh, okay. But, you know, <laughs> why don't they just vote for 
Yang. He'll, he'll give a, <laughs> yeah. a thousand to everyone, and that's that's uh, you know, life is not a zero sum game. We can all be losers, and we can all be winners, and uh, it's it's better to try to win than to uh, make other people lose because that won't make you better. Maybe by your relativity will be higher on the ladder because the people at the top will have fallen, and so you have automatically yeah. gained a few ranks, even if you haven't, uh, you know, actually gained anything. And it works on mm -hmm. some stuff, like in F zero. That's where that's how you win a race in F zero. Uh, I, I, I assume you know what F zero is, even yeah. if it's a little old, per perhaps for y'all. But uh, it was um, when I was uh, when I was young. It was a very popular racing game uh, on the Super Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64, and um, this was this race when even if you were a great pilot you could not win the only the only way to win is was to make other people crash their cars um, that was the the strategy and um, in life things are <laughs> not like this you know a lot of people kind of feel about life like as it's you know video game and they're winners and losers and you got to well do this thing and, a lot, and so many people are have this like video game uh mentality of like oh yeah mm -hmm. my life is going all wrong uh now but if i find a job Blue show. things will go better that's uh, oh if i i'm so depressed but if i find a girlfriend uh, then i won't be depressed anymore yeah fat chance that's how it works yeah 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 you know just, but i'm just gonna get my diploma and then it after that it's smooth sailing and ha 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 of course <laughs> not but um you know It's, uh, yeah, it's it's really it's far less the th actual things that happen and a lot more the mentality that you're carrying with you because because shit shit will just happen regardless of however you yeah. want it to go and yes. if you make certain shit happen it's not going to change the way you feel yes. yes 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 very yes and um, yeah sometimes be a little creative about it I don't know for example. Um, Recently, I mean, I'm going to give a shit example, but I, I hope it will illustrate a little uh, what I what I mean to say. Uh, recently, I was unhappy about my body body fat percentage. I I, I thought I was uh, that my um I had too much uh, body fat, but it's it's really about percentage. So instead of trying to lose fat, I started by gaining muscle. Hmm. So I didn't lose fat, but my body fat percentage went down. I at first for a little. For a, a while, I felt like I cheated the system, but really, that's how it works. And you are healthier if your percentage goes down, not just the mass. So sometimes in life, you got to uh, not really think outside the box, but um, it's it's uh, it's always good to change your perspective, try to uh, try to see uh, things uh, a little from a different angle, and I am not saying that billionaires deserve to be billionaires i am not saying to, i'm not saying that uh, child rapists deserve to get away with this of course not um what does your heart say saying, <laughs> what what does your heart say what, was, your heart. what does my heart say uh you know your black broken evil <laughs> scalding fiery hell heart what does it want uh it's, it's does it want to burn all the rich people Oh, not at all. Uh, kind of a. Does it want to burn all the children? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we got that settled. <laughs> okay, yeah. Deep, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm being like straight from the heart, if I, if I open my soul and and let it express itself, um, I hate, I hate kids. They're smelly. They're stupid, and they're very noisy. And if they all died tomorrow, I wouldn't give a shit. Uh, I mean, my 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 deep in my heart and soul. That's uh, that's what I, I I'm uh, I'm thinking. And about the billionaires, about the billionaires and people who hoard wealth. Uh, my heart is nothing but admiration. And uh, even even a little of um, even a little of submission uh, to their uh, respect, uh, envy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Respect to their uh, to their genius and their finesse. Uh, and um, mentally, I'm 
I'm quite neutral. So uh, the balance is a little uh, in favor of them, I have to say, because my, my heart likes them and my mind doesn't give a shit. So um, I could not, I could not be, I could not be a communist even if I tried yeah. hard. Uh, it's it's just yeah. it's just too against me. I think socialists have some valid points, you know, and um, I'm I'm not. I'm I'm basically a center right, moderate, conservative. Um, so yay, billionaires boo children. Um, more like I don't give a shit about either. It's not my yeah. it's not my war. It's not my fight. It's not my culture. It's not. Uh, I don't feel connected enough to this issue to care about it. I feel like it's it's too foreign. It's too like I don't really have any children in my life or any billionaires so it's it's feel like and it's like it's like about all certainly no billionaire children and yeah it, it's like about it's, it's yeah. about all these people doing this shit on another continent and uh uh it's just like i just want to grill for god's sake you know, I, 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 I I already have pr personal problems and these people going to jail or to hell or to whatever will not change my life. It will not make my life better. It will not make reality more bearable. It will not make existence suck less. It will do nothing uh, to me and even if they go down, they will be replaced by others who will be just more... Um, It will be some kind of social Darwinism, you know? The ones that will go down will be the less, uh, the ones who have been less careful to cover their tracks and, and shit like this, and they will be replaced by more sneaky ones. Uh, they're probably probably worse, they probably will do more crimes. And, um, you know, a, it's like when you... You're a true nihilist. It's like when you... I don't know. Uh, it's, but it's like when you kill the the spiders in your house. Uh, the ones, the one that survive are the most dangerous because they're better at hiding. They're smarter, and um, you know, you you only got rid of the the ones that were lagging behind and less good at stealth, and you know. So basically, you're creating a race of super spiders uh, just by el eliminating the slowest ones. So you, if, you're kind um, of same with super billionaires. Yes, of course. If, it's same with super billionaires. The the more it's stupid, but I think it's like chess. You gotta sacrifice a little to gain a lot, and if we let probably more of them get away with it, then there will be less. Um, super sneaky ones that will be better at hiding and evading justice and do way way worse stuff so in in some regards probably i, I totally I, i agree in 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 like in, in situations of drugs if you are to allow some legal form of usage of it then yeah a lot of the 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 really bad ways that it that it happens will start to drop away like you don't need cartels if certain drugs are legal because it's just you don't need to to go above the law to do it um it's very it's very different it, because cartels were created by the war on drugs and um it's it's um they didn't exist before when drugs were were basically legal there were no cartels there were no there were no bullshit before the prohibition there was no al capone yeah yeah and yeah. so uh, well, well, yeah that's the, what the, I'm the governments you're... the governments created that shit and drugs are very different because when we when we talk about billionaires embezzling and uh, dodging taxes there are many victims when we talk about pedophiles raping there are many victims when you talk about people taking drugs there are no victims it's 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 it's, it's, it's not really a crime because it's victimless it's who are you hurting oh, i'm just saying no that, no that, one like if you allow so it's, if it's you allow very, for like I a think peaceful it's a very different situation. let him finish his thought nelson <laughs> if you allow well, for like a peaceful uh like indulgence then you d you don't need to make these shameful indulgences is a, is the point i was trying to make I mean, I appreciate what you're saying, but I don't think it's fair to compare those two things because okay. when you're doing when you're doing drugs, 
you're not harming anyone and you're you there's no victim you're not hurting anyone else but uh, uh you cannot compare this to uh, uh you know dodging taxes and, and raping kids oh, which oh, okay. clearly have victims uh yeah i was creating an analogy for what i thought you were trying to say it's not what i believe um all the time um i was trying to say in some cases yeah that's the best way to do it um is to al like allow some form of it so that it's a healthier whatever but yeah in in the case of the epstein thing right i if there is no recourse i think that makes me a little feel a little more hopeless than than um than if like then if people are chased down I know I, like I know I know vengeance is like a vicious cycle or whatever but there's some level of just justice I feel like has to come about um, just th there is a level of like certain stuff for me just shouldn't be uh, like allowed to happen I, and that's of course that's like but yeah 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 I, I agree with you okay it's just that the guy went to prison and died yeah yeah, yeah. it's not but like it's not just it's him it's not like nothing he's, happened he's not the mastermind he's just a piece of it that's oh, really? that's what people yeah 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 oh i didn't understand it's like, a, like it's this. a huge trafficking like deal it's not done huh. um oh okay i didn't know that i don't feel like it's done because he's disappeared D how do you how do you feel though lisa um yeah that's that's that, that's the idea that's the fear we don't have all the you know individual pieces of information yeah. to, oh. to to prove that without the doubt but there would have to be a lot of people involved for a lot. Yeah. like the, the 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 volume the volume of of children that he had okay i'm confused because you said that there was that we had all the evidence and and, and the, the file was basically done and uh, on him but 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 this implies that there's a lot of other people that are doing this and and the, and just the the amount of of cooperation that he had to get away with this for so many yeah, years like, okay. there's definitely a lot of i get it now yeah okay yeah definitely there definitely are a lot of people involved there's there's very likely a lot of other rich people that he did this with um and that are doing doing the exact same thing and that they're all networked with yeah. with each other to get their supply yeah. of human well, meat. And it sounds um, like people and in we're France not going to know too. about any of this now yeah mm-hmm There'd have to be people in so. France connected to Epstein too, considering all the the French models. Like, it could be a pretty mm -hmm. international thing. Yeah, casting, modeling, modeling, casting people. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the backroom, like the backroom oh. casting couch. Yeah, like. Th yeah, but with with kids. In fact, they, <laughs> that, that, there's a yeah. porn company. The girls do porn. Got like, got like, mm -hmm. uh, essentially convicted of. Um, just like blackmailing people and and lying to them and forcing them to sign contracts under uh just like uh -huh. uh oh. irresponsible environment yeah duress that's it yeah yeah they, they well they would get they would get them on the plane under false pretenses kidnap them on the airport and rape them on camera and then um you know just making it look like a hardcore sex scene and okay. then threaten their families okay 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 huh Yeah. The more layers yeah, you peel back, I think the better for society. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That changes things quite a bit uh, when you when you say it like that. Uh, I, yeah. Okay. So, um, hmm. so what what you're saying basically is that okay, this guy is dead, but all his uh, basically his um, accomplices and the guys he mm -hmm. did the crimes with are no still way. run are still running free. Yeah. Uh, because because yeah. the evidence was insufficient in some way. But yeah, everything they had gathered was all pointed towards him. And if there's not going to be a trial towards him, then everybody who is involved with him, um, there's not necessary, not necessarily any warrants or precedents to um, put those people under trial. Won't they just like continue the investigation? It seems like it that barely started. They should, but they weren't no, going because to. 
because there's no there's no person that Epstein was the person that the charges were against. If there's no more Epstein, there's no more there's no more trial. That's weird because it doesn't it uh, does, you doesn't get it. sound right. You get it. That does that does not sound right. <laughs> and so the, not it's not right. They're, they're interviewing <laughs> the guards who are apparently asleep in quotation marks during like the suicide watch where he killed himself. Apparently, allegedly. Yeah. No, he actually was not on suicide watch. Oh, okay. He had been on suicide watch, and then they took him off of suicide watch um, so that he wouldn't have to be checked on as much. Right. This is, ve- so, this is very interesting. It, yeah. And the the, fir- the first time that he was that he was put on suicide watch was it's thought to be that he just wanted to be moved like to a different cell, like to have more privacy. Okay. It was like it was like kind of a half-assed kind of kind of suicidey type of thing not really meant to hurt him yeah. mm-hmm. and then he was yes. moved then he then he then he got off suicide watch and then and then this murder happened yeah okay it's all very strange mm-hmm. yeah yeah it is the memes still suck though they're still <laughs> not very not very funny not very entertaining well, i can agree with but you I, that it's not I, that I, funny I, like i don't, I don't I understand chuckle the, so much as just go hmm I understand the sentiment much better now that uh, I I know more of the of the facts. I did not imagine it was something like that at all. I had com- understood completely wrong, which basic which maybe reinforces my position uh, on to that uh, using memes to convey that kind of thing. It's not working because yeah. if, even someone mm-hmm. like me who who looks at 10,000 memes per hour, I had completely <laughs> understood the thing completely wrong. And um, yeah, basically I had understood, understood nothing. Um, I, I was so far from the, the facts that I had understood everything completely uh different from what was actually going on so um huh i i still think that french people bottles who, are hot <laughs> you know actually i could not name a single one off the top of my head Damn. i i didn't you know french models sounds kind of like um a weird uh, concept because every time I'm, I hear I hear about models, they're always from like the eastern countries, like Russia and and Ukraine and all these this area. I didn't I didn't know we mm. uh, bred uh, models here. <laughs> I'm just I'm kind of yeah that that's a that's a whole trip here like the 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 sexy French huh. model thing well, I don't know may, it's, maybe they're it's associated with high fashion maybe they're famous abroad but not here because I I I've never you've heard got like the Paris the fashion French like industry don't you yeah but be, but there's all these um, designers who who create the clothes uh, the 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 models come from all over the world and yeah, most right. of them are from Russia. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 people who design the clothes are from here, but uh, the models are uh, m- most of them don't even speak French, I suppose. Well, all of the French models, we know where they went now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that yeah, explains. They were all they were all wow. they were all on the islands of these of these crusty old sicko yeah. billionaires. That's dark, uh, but uh, okay. <laughs> 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 to the to, they went to the country of uh, of uh, child pageants. Ugh. At yeah. least this is illegal as fuck here. We may not have statutory rape laws, but child <laughs> child pageants are a hundred percent illegal. Uh, huh. That's where we draw the fucking line. Yeah. I mean, it's a different. You know, it's a different conception. Of uh, it's a um, conception. It's a different conceptualization of because uh, because yeah, the statutory rape thing is um, it's it's um, you know it's shifty. It's 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 a little dicey because it's kind of like preying into the intimacy of of people, and uh, we we don't like here when uh, the state. Uh, comes to say what we can or cannot do inside our private bedrooms, but yeah. a pageant 
that's exploitation that's child labor that's definitely bad there is no you know that's obviously a bad thing because the, these kids are being exploited and uh and this there's all there's this whole bullshit around here and it's basically like a, a pedo magnet and uh hmm. and, it, and it's crazy it's crazy to exploit kids like that so uh that's why it's it's seen as much much worse uh, on a moral standpoint Mm-hmm. Because, of, but uh, in America they don't have child labor laws. Uh, I hear I hear about teenagers having jobs all the time. It's cl- it's crazy, illegal as fuck here. We we have child labor laws, Doubt but it. the amount of the amount. <laughs> Yeah, we do. We we have child labor laws. The amount of time that you're allowed to work increases as you get older. But pageants aren't seen as labor. They're seen as like a hobby. Well, that's um, that's a bit delusional and um, not and conceited, <laughs> uh, hypocritical. Uh, th- th- I mean, so you can have are, you can have sex with the kids, but you can't employ them. Ba- <laughs> basically yes oh, uh, we have very we we have we have uh yeah we so have very strong laws on sex. everything that's related exactly we have very strong laws on everything that's related to work uh and uh you know uh it's it's a little different it's a little different the way we conceptualize um uh, children and and legality for example uh i know that in the u.s kids can start having their own car and drive at 16 uh, which seems a, a mm. little crazy to us but also uh the the, the age that they're allowed to drink alcohol alcohol is really really late like uh, 21 i think uh yeah yeah that sounds like some muslim you know caliphate uh laws uh, this is cr- <laughs> i remember one of my friends uh, uh 21 in what country saudi arabia it was very earnest uh, uh you know uh reaction mm-hmm. and that's that's so weird um i i start it's because it's because of all the driving really they, they saw a lot of road accidents go down when certain states States raised the drinking age to 21. Um, it, it really reduced the the, num- the number of drunk driving accidents we had. So it's it's really all has to do with automobiles. I looked at the stats, and that's bullshit. It's actually the other way around. Uh, the most, hmm. the biggest amount of of drunk drivers implicated in accidents in the U.S. are 17 or 18. Uh, I think that it it's changed the way that they're being pros- prosecuted or classified. Maybe no, uh, it's. When when they could when they could get uh, when they could at the time when they could get legally served in bars it was much higher. Well, however, however many however many teenagers are 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 causing drunk driving deaths now it was even higher when they could get served alcohol legally in bars. Teenagers are still going to drink, but it's a lot it's a lot less than when they were able to drink here legally. That's that sounds really weird and counterintuitive because. Because you think that when they're doing it unsupervised, they're doing it like more and and worse and in worse conditions, and um, drunk driving incidents involving young people are kind of low here. It's more like an old folks uh, thing, even if the biggest cause of accidents is distracted driving here. Not uh, we have much much less. Um, accidents caused by drunk drivers than in the US even if we have much much more alcoholism drink driving um, is a we thing we have here. a lot more pub- what yeah, yeah. We, we, we have yeah, plenty but- of, um, of alcohol related like DUIs or whatever um, but, but we had similar yeah. results as well we lo- like we made it we made um, driving under the influence illegal too and it did reduce the like amount of DUIs obviously Mm-hmm. Dri- well, yeah, driving under the influence, of course, is it was already illegal here. But um, yeah, but it, yeah, when they like, when they yeah. raised, the, it was about raising the drinking uh, yeah, age yeah, yeah, to reduce yeah, yeah. drunk driving deaths. You know, ours is eighteen, yeah. so I don't know what our stats are on that. Yeah. 
it's like not it's, yeah. it's like not really really illegal in the US because I hear about people doing DUIs all the time and and basically <laughs> never never doing any time for it and ever stuff like that it's like it's not really a serious thing it's more like you get off uh, with a, a small fine and nobody gives a shit it's kind of like uh, it mm -hmm. seems to be like the national sport and nobody seems to take it seriously <laughs> here it's uh, mm -hmm. here it's seen as a kind of a heinous heinous crime and uh, people are it's really frowned upon here uh, in the US people I, I see people like on Reddit and and uh, and stuff like this, like uh, bragging about uh, uh, the number of DUIs that they have, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems to be much more. Um, people seems to be much much more cool with it in the US uh, compared to yeah. compared to here, where it's uh, it's it's really frowned upon here. It's really seen as a, as a bad thing. In the US, people seem see it as a a, a normal thing that everyone does uh, once in a while. So may, yeah. maybe that's the the difference of of mentality. Uh, here well people don't people just drive less in Europe in general like a lot fewer people own cars uh, depends it depends on where you are uh, but uh, that's true in the big cities because in, in the big city having a car is like shooting yourself in the foot you know uh, takes an hour to find a parking space and it's really expensive and the insurance and all that uh, it, uh, you know taking the bus or uh, or the train is is much cheaper and faster and you know you can read a book while you're doing it uh, there's um, it's uh, it's uh, much much better in, in so many ways it usually people who uh, live in areas where public transports are not very good who tend to uh, take their cars uh, a little more and uh, so uh, especially people who live in um, uh, the, the what we call the peripheries you know it's a kind of these um, these um, indigent suburbs where uh, things are kind of like broken and shit because they were uh, uh, built really fast uh, after World War II because we needed a lot of um, cheap labor to rebuild the country after all the the uh, bombings by the Americans and all that. Uh, so, uh, so, so, so these uh, these cities were not built to last, but they did last they're still here and uh, it's it has been a problem since the 70s and uh, it's still not really on the way to be fixed but apart from that uh, I mean there's the countryside but nobody lives there in France 95% of people live in an urban area so uh, the, the countryside is uh, like uh, it's, it's a drop in the ocean in terms of population Um, yeah, I think in Belgium, 97% of people live in cities. Uh, no, nobody lives in the countryside anymore. It's uh, it's become like a, um, a, f a few people are like edgy and rebel and want to become like farmers because it's this, this cool thing because uh, everyone lives in the city. So if you were a farmer, it's kind of like a, a hipster thing. But uh, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's um, it's still there's still a lot of cars um be because of a few reasons one of these reasons being um, the, a man called Georges Pompidou who was kind of the French Ronald Reagan and he did a lot of bad things and took a, a lot of really bad decisions that I was still paying for and one of them was prioritizing, prioritizing cars uh, on some aspects of um, city and uh, rural life Cl and um, you know uh, he closed a lot of train um, lines and uh, it, it created so so many problems and it created this uh, because you know this guy was obviously paid by the um, car lobby and uh, mm -hmm. and we got we have majorly fucked by the car lobby not as not quite as much as people in the US did because it's, it's mental what happened what happened there but mm -hmm. um, it, it still happened uh, a little bit here and um, it's a complicated situation um, it's a complicated situation and, and, and it's a, it's a political battle of all the time because right-wing are pro cars and left wing are pro trains 
and they're always fighting about this uh, and it's uh, it's a very partisan uh, uh, a fight that is happening all the time and, all, and uh, you know all the people from the right wing uh, uh, they like uh, the they like the cars and they like the roads and that like shit and all the people from the left wing want more trains more public transport uh, better better uh, equipment and uh, infrastructure and it's this it's it, it has become a divide this, this is probably the biggest political divide in, in France car people versus train people and bus people you know uh, and typically the, the, the car people are right wing hard light right and uh, and from the far right and the the rest of people are uh, pro public transport and trains and um, and when it sounds something- like socialism versus like a like a liberalism yeah, basically, yeah. and uh, and and when things get on this level, you know nothing's gonna get done because uh, we have a lot of um, alternants. I don't I don't know if that makes sense in English, but uh, our governments are like left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, we n- rarely have a long period of time where the right wing or the left wing is in power, um, and um, so. It's basically impossible to have anything uh, made that requires long-term projects because every government prides themselves in undoing everything uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. the pre- previous had done. And especially since uh, we have this really fast, um, uh, uh, you know, we have a, a, our presidents elected every five years. Uh, before it was every seven years and people were, were uh, and things were going much better. But now it's like every five years and that creates so many problems um we we uh, we swapped up our prime minister like gosh three or four times like without even a single election being held um oh yeah that's crazy yeah i think yeah that that's like that in the uk too Yeah, yeah 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 and uh here we we hate that um so we try um often people try to re-elect the same person to just let them try to uh do better than they did first time and try to uh, prove that uh, their uh, campaign promises were not just uh, bullshit and sometimes it works sometimes it does not and um it's uh it's a complicated issue but you know it's very the the car thing is very politicized and in a very dumb way especially since uh you have all these far right politicians who are for like zero tolerance and uh, uh old criminals uh, uh going to jail immediately and stuff like that As, except if it's uh car people breaking driving laws uh, these people should get away with it it's uh it's so, it's so fucking hypocritical uh like uh yeah they will attack everyone but defend drivers uh against like uh, they say yeah yeah a bit um radars are bad because uh they're only meant to uh give the, the state uh, more money and stealing uh, uh honest taxpayers uh money but yeah but you are for zero tolerance and these guys only get fines if they break the law so what the fuck are you on about and it's this it's, it's huge hypocrisy uh that is uh you know slowly slowly the car people are, are are losing ground year after year because it's more and more obvious that cars are a thing that is obsolete and that is bringing a, that is bringing everyone down so they're, they're losing ground slowly especially in the cities where um where there's a lot of um environmentalist candidates that get elected so they make more and more cities um more and more areas of cities like banned for cars and you can just be a wow. pedestrian and uh, and there's a lot of uh, politics of uh, uh, you know bikes being available for free, so people won't have to to uh, take a car if uh, they have a long distance uh, thing. We have really good public transport in in most cities, and um, you know you know there's um, 
there's this war between car people and people who are against cars um and the whole yellow vest bullshit that was a big part of it because these yellow vests they're car people most of them are right wing and uh who like uh are um you know angry because the gas prices are going up and that's how it started you know and uh, um, car people tend to be considered by other people by a little, uh, a little like um, um, uh, ignoramuses and yokels and people who are like not really smart. Like uh, they take a car because they have no choice because they have a shit job. And uh, you know, it's um, if you have the choice, you don't take a car. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, there people are like saying shit about them like uh, all the time like they, they create all these accidents and uh, they create all this pollution uh, if uh, these people stop driving their car the air would be a uh, better quality and all that and there's this, this big fighting uh between the the car people and the non-car people and it's it's not getting better and it's pretty ugly and uh uh, in the 70s, the, the car people won a lot of battles and recently they're losing a lot. And but yeah, the cars are going away. It's obvious. Uh, You're a train of cities, person? Oh, uh, yeah, 110%. Yeah, <laughs> I never... I never owned a car. I never. I, I don't even want to get a, a driving license uh, because I know that it's just like putting your finger in the clockwork thing and then getting sucked into the the the, the evil mach, mach, machine. So uh, I don't want. I don't even want to try. I don't want to get a driving license. I don't want to get a car. I don't want to be part of of that shit. That's one of the main reasons why I spent all my adult life in big cities um, because. I don't want to be a car person. I don't to be one of. I don't want to be one of them. Most of my friends are not car people either. I know almost no one who owns a car or just like people who are really have to because of their jobs because they've been relocated in the countryside or stuff like this. But uh, you know, um, I, 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 yeah, very few of my friends or acquaintances um, are car people and um it's um yeah it's kind of like a, a, a different culture even if we're in the same country it's uh there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of differences between us and when when i meet someone and it turns out that they're a car person it's weird it's like a meta fucking alien because it's so <laughs> it's it's uh it's a whole different thing uh, you know, it's just the kind of people who like uh, go on weekends at the beach and uh, go to the nightclubs and, you know, this, these kind of people, you know. So uh, it's not the kind of people I, I like to frequent, um, obviously. So uh, it's, a, it's a whole, it's a whole, you know, they, they listen to the radio and uh, all this techno <laughs> bullshit. You know, you know, you know, it's a, it's a whole different culture. Yeah. It's a thing that I, I, I know I'm not part of. Uh, uh, and... Um, I, and I, it's not even that I don't want to be part of it. It's like I I know I don't belong in that crowd, and they're weird, and a lot of them seem, uh, yeah, they. If I'm being totally honest, they seem inferior. Um, <laughs> well, they are. Like mentally, socially, and uh, in a, in a lot of ways, they they seem like not on our level. Uh, and they, they seem like they don't try hard enough to, to be good for the planet because they still use cars that do a lot of pollution. So, uh, it, it, yeah, it's um, there's this resentment. And, uh, you know, because of them, there has to be a lot of uh, stuff in the cities, uh, like uh, these big streets and all these parking spaces that are, uh, uh, that are you know... Uh, it's it's a, it's bad for cities uh, when there's so much car stuff because it's uh, it's stealing space. Uh, uh, cities could be so much better without this shit. Uh, I know that in Germany they're uh, on this point they're more advanced than us. Um, most of their major cities are uh, cars are banned inside the city. It's you have to walk or uh, bike or you won't get around. It's it's uh, you know there are these big parking spaces on the on the outer side 
out, uh, on the on the outer walls of the cities they have all these big parking spaces and if you want to get inside the city you cannot bring your car in uh so uh i i wish we had this here it's so it seems like such a great thing uh, i'm so jealous of this and um I, I I'm I should, I'm sure this will happen sooner or later because we have more and more uh, areas in in most of our cities that are being reserved for pedestrians and abandoned to cars and uh, the 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 the, 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 the um, cars are allowed less and less roads uh, every year especially especially in the big cities but not only and uh, yeah I can't, I can't wait for this shit to go away but uh, it's slow because of uh, yeah because of the car lobbies uh, are, are strong and they have uh, so many political alliances and shit like this and uh, it's uh, it's ingrained in, in so many people and it's a culture people, some people are proud of their cars uh especially the the people like the um, you know that we call the um, uh how um uh, inbred pedophile uh, unemployed the people of the north that um, <laughs> work in the mines and the factories uh these kind of people love cars you know the kind of people who eat fries all the time and put sugar on everything um so the pedophiles in france are the poor not the billionaires yeah, I th- yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, gotcha. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to get that distinction. There's, uh, there's, um, there's a huge, and I'm aware it's a prejudice, and I'm aware it's not all of them, but there's this huge <laughs> stigma against people like from the northern regions, because, uh, mm-hmm. you know, um, close to it, it's, England. Uh, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, that's that's uh, they're the, the hicks, the hicks and the rednecks of France. Yeah, it's, but uh, it's it's really different because um, in the USA, the the hicks and the rednecks are farmers. Here, our farmers are not uh, uh, um, are not seen quite as bad as people from the industrial regions. You know, where there was like the the factories mm. and the mines. Uh, that's where. Uh, the i mean that's where we believe that people are like idiots and uh um i mean there's a there was a slogan from a soccer team uh, f- uh from the I, I think it was from the paris soccer team who uh had this big match against uh, a soccer team from uh, the north and uh, there was this huge banner in the in the in the bleachers that says uh yeah uh, pedophiles unemployed and inbreds that's the north um, wow. so and mm-hmm. and that's that's what a lot of people believe uh about the people especially from the north but in general the people who are like in the in the industrial and and mining regions that's um, that's what we say about tasmanians here um, the, and, the uh, Tasmanian yeah, devils, no, the, the, uh, the the state that's below <laughs> Victoria, the little island Tasmania. We we like I've heard from so many different people that they're all inbred and, and have two heads and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and uh, and uh, with all the stigma and caricatures that go alongside those people, uh, so they are unemployed, uh, always on welfare. Uh, they are. They are inbred and fuck their their daughters and sons, and uh, they are uh, you know uh, pedophiles with the same thing, and, and and since the age of consent is already as low as fifteen in France, when you say a pedophile, you really mean it there. Yeah, they really. Oh mean yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially since uh, I'm gonna come back uh, to this in a few uh, minutes or oh, seconds, but uh, yeah, these people. The, the the stigma the caricature the the prejudice is like like you know all these people who are like inbred and poor and unemployed and pedophiles well that's the kind of people who use cars you know that's the car people that's the core audience <laughs> of the car manufacturers those are those people God. those people I'm gonna sell my car tomorrow those, those people <laughs> sounds terrible you know, those people it's it's one of the it's one of the stigmas around them they love fries and fried things they fry everything and they have these fry shops where the fry all this all the stuff and they they uh, love uh, loud techno music and cars it's uh, like it's <laughs> it's this whole it's this whole stereotype of the northern person uh, you know weird accent uh, very low IQ uh, fries and cars it's uh, you know yeah. it, and uh, 
Uh, yeah, and rain all the time. Uh, to just rebound, uh, to just bounce on what you just said. Uh, also, there's a difference: is that in English there's child and there's, there's there's adult, and you have no buffer zone. It's people at at the age of 18 are considered before 18 uh, in English. People are considered children, and after 18 they're considered adults. Yeah. Uh, in here is very di- in here is very different. Uh, we have um, which basically corresponds to the concept of teenager. Uh, we call this. Ad- adolescent we you have also this word in english but you never use it for some reason and um the 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 people like adolescent is like um basically um middle school and high school you know that be, be between the age of uh, 12 to uh, 18 something like this and these people are not considered children um in france they call the, that ripe i think Mm, I don't think so. I'm that just doesn't ring a bell. It's, it's, a, t- it's a terrible <laughs> thing to say. No, uh, in France, when we say ripe, women, uh, grandma, you know, so someone of a yeah, yeah, someone yeah. of a ripe ear, someone of a ripe age is is a is a G M I L F. You know, not not peak ripeness over ripe. Uh, well, we we have a kind of uh, you know we don't have a lot of political correctness here, but when it comes to ageism, we do have it. So uh, an old person, uh, you don't say old person. That's over really ripe. rude. You say a ripe. You say someone of ripe age. <laughs> someone of a, you say someone venerable. You say a senior. You say someone of the third age, uh, but you. Don't don't say all that that's one of the things on a lot of things we don't have no censorship and we have no political correctness but age is one of the things that uh, we have where we have this and you don't say a, you don't say a person that they're old it's mm. extremely rude and, and impolite so uh so some so sometimes we say ripe sometimes we say uh they're they're venerable sometimes you say yeah they're uh you know uh graying or uh, you know Third age is the the correct the political correct term, um, you, you, the young adult and third age, uh, because we don't say old. You don't say old. That's very rude. Uh, but yeah, uh, children is like uh, primary school, uh, and then when you're like in in middle school, you're not a child anymore. And most of us have our first sexual experience and our first experiences with alcohol and drugs and all this stuff in middle school or in high school you know it's not it's not before obviously and it's usually not after except for the really late bloomers so um that's the that's the when you when we are young you know when we experiment with all this stuff and we discover sex and drugs and all that shit and then uh, we become adults uh, around 20 years old and we calm the fuck down but um yeah uh you would globally you would not consider uh, someone who has sex with uh, a person of the the buffer age, uh, what that we call adolescence, uh, a, a, a pedophile. It's it sounds weird when you say it. It doesn't sound right, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Saying that a, a dude, you know, saying that a dude who has sex with a a sixteen year old girls with with a you know a muff and tits and all the adult equipment and you, you call, call in a dude who has sex with her a pedophile sounds super weird and like you, you, you uh, it sounds like you're uh, you've, you've you've goofed up and you've uh, uh you know it's like do, do, doing a, a miss a misspelling or um or an or a, a, a syntax error you know yeah. so uh so that's speaking it speaking of pedophilia i've got to go get a hamburger um, <laughs> oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it's been really nice talking to you guys. You guys can keep going. I just have to get out of here. Uh, but... I got I to gotta take my meds and go to bed. It's late. I'm uh, okay. I'm dead. And uh, I suppose uh, Giles will go back to bed because we have completely uh, <laughs> ruined your morning. assaulted him with all this uh, crazy talk. <laughs> I hope you'll have nice dreams after this conversation. As, as, well, it's, it's like it's like noon for you, right? It's yeah. Like lunchtime. Yeah. yeah okay. Think about so, lunch. Um, as you can get a burger too. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, as they mm-hmm. say, I, as they say on uh, 4chan, uh, all the stories depicted here are uh, pieces of falsehood and fiction, <laughs> and anyone who to takes these seriously is but a fool and um yeah it's art we we do we do art here huh and of course (laughs) our motto before the end life is short eat dessert first (laughs) nice life's short eat dessert first I'll go get some dessert right now you know what I found out who said that and it's the French chef who works in California Oh, nice. So uh, that's nice. I, I thought it was like a, I thought it was an anonymous quote, but it's uh, the, 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 you can look up the guy on Wikipedia. He's, uh, he's actually and still alive, and uh, it's not not even old. So uh, and he uh, makes Australian get... Tucker, and that's that's what links the three of us. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reminds yes. me of the creation of the uh, pineapple pizza <laughs> created. In the USA, by a Greek immigrant inspired by Chinese recipes, who took the pineapples from Hawaii, and it ended up being the most popular pizza in Australia. So wow, that's. Um, I hope we don't get sued by this dude. Uh, I forgot his name, but he's uh, like this, this French chef, and he's like, um, like forty-five years old. <laughs> It's like very active now. It's like this restaurants in California and shit. And uh, so life is short. It dessert first. And please, Pierre or whatever, don't sue us. That's uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for the cocaine episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a great and, one. Uh, episode twenty next time should be with. Uh, do androids dream of electric memes? If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. So uh, that would be in yeah. um, early December. No, shit. I'm so lost in my scheduling, but that will be a cool episode. Whoever's the guest, we are three hosts now. Uh, so uh, update your bookmarks. Life's short, eat dessert first. I'm going to go to bed now. Really need it. Mm-hmm. All right. The- Happy and to, uh, the to join wor- the crew. <laughs> yes, the word of the end for Giles, who is, um, is our new host. So uh, say, say your word. Um, sweet. Nice. Perfect. Whoa!